this one going? The one where you can talk to Spanish speaking people? Oh, uh, Linga. It's a uh, language exchange, and yeah. there's two sites that I'm on. And... Oh, I one well. It's not kind of language. There's a great YouTube channel cool. called Spanish with Paul for conversation. Oh, really? Spanish. Yeah. I've been listening to it on my way in, and he does like YouTube videos, yeah. doing mini courses. Nice. And he, like, it's really great the way he does it. It's just so easy to listen to. And yeah, and they, I found a series called Distros, and it's it's a whole course, but it's a show designed for beginner Spanish. So okay. they talk all in Spanish, and it's a che cheesy ass show, but <laughs> but it, I mean you're not really watching. Yeah, you're not really watching it for the show. I mean you're watching it to learn. To learn, yeah. And it's actually it's right at my level because I can understand. What they're saying, oh, good. <laughs> but I talked to somebody from Madrid the other day because we we skyped and mm -hmm. um and he's working. I mean he's way further along in English than I am. Well, than I am Which in is Spanish. Good, easy, yeah. yeah, and yeah. so he's basically trying to get rid of his Spanish accent. Okay. So he's at the point where, you know, he says some words, and he's much better. Like you go to the Dominican and those people, you can like it's almost hard to understand their English because it's so accented. Yeah. And him, you can tell he has an accent, but you can definitely understand what he's saying. Yeah. So he's much further along than he's just that. Working on that one. Yeah. yeah. So like, That's like tough. words like insurance, it. like he's, he didn't know how to say insurance because you know. Yeah, it's, well, I, it's yeah. a specialty word. Yeah. <laughs> And so, but even he had a good ah. point. I mean, he's like, oh, so ah. like S H. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really make sense because it's not spelled that way. It's spelled S U. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but that's like sure. I'm like, oh, good point. You're right. <laughs> that's for us, monkey. Which one's the monkey? I think that would probably be me. Not dance. I, I was already <laughs> doing. Oh, the I missed walk. it. Okay. You missed the moonwalk. <laughs> you, know, right. you know what we need to do? We need orange juice. We need to make it? Yeah, we're probably gonna figure out. I probably we could probably figure it out ahead of time on how much we need. Okay, so we need four ounces for the first drink. So that's gonna be like four oranges. No, I hope not. <laughs> because I only have a bag. Uh four. Fuck. There's eight. Okay, maybe I didn't do this right. I might be using some off the shelf OJ. Um, why is this so laggy, son of a gun? Right, I guess I could say son of a bitch. It's like barely moving. Hmm. You're so tan. Yeah, it's my Dominican tan. <laughs> <laughs> so tan. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm a, I'm a whole other race now. Yep. That's not racist to say, is it? No, it's, I'm it's, gonna get racist. It's the opposite. All it's inclusive, this. right? Oh, okay. I'm gonna get racist all over my computer if it doesn't start freaking picking up. Why is it running like come on? Dude. Literally, the mouse moves ten seconds after. Stuck to everything, dude. Where? Probably because of the humidity. No, it's because I probably didn't clean. What are you talking about? Oh, just all that stuff? See if there's oh. bags to ju junk the oranges. If you have a... No, but I can get one. That's probably sugar. Yeah, that's sugar. Sugar. Try to make baby as little baby. of a mess as possible, if possible. Barbecue sauce. Did I tell you all was sponsoring the whole week? A whole month? Uh, no. So we have our tequila selection here. I feel like we're a month late right now. For what? Anything? We're doing Cinco de Mayo stuff, and Cinco de Mayo is like tomorrow. No, we're, do, we're doing tequila stuff right. all month. But but like tequila stuff, but like tequila, Cinco de Mayo, they kind of go together, right? Yeah, I did a tequila video for Cinco de Mayo. Did you? Yeah, it's okay. not out yet because it's not Cinco de Mayo. Yet. Cinco de Mayo is not here. I did that. Well, I was like, I didn't want to because I hate having to do extra videos when I'm when I don't plan ahead. Right. But I was designing the whole thing. I'm like, when I went through, I'm like, all this information, I wish I could just get this out. I'm like, maybe I just make a video. So I'm like, okay, I made a video called Seven Facts About Tequila. And then I was like, when, I'll put that on Thursday before the live stream. And I was like, wait a minute. I can just put it out on Cinco de Mayo because that's like, now I have something for Cinco de Mayo. So I just said happy Cinco de Mayo at the beginning of the video. And then boom! <laughs> that's the best Go afterthought through. ever. Yeah. Went through the... <laughs> Like the different styles of rum again, or the different styles of tequila, because for some reason people never find that video. And then, like, myths about the worm and uh, seven other things. I don't remember. We 
we had, we bought some tequila a little while ago. Yeah, and I strained it out. Yeah, and then we gave it to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did, yeah. Eight, four, eight, nine ounces of orange juice. Oh, you didn't do that, Eric. What? Dork. What? What's wrong with the metaphor? Be with you. Oh. I know. So I was going to say that later. Oh, fuck, this is lemon juice. Don't go there. Everybody does that on every are, board. Are you anti Star Wars now, Jen? <laughs> I'm anti repetitive geekness. <laughs> Did you see the, what, Avengers? Is that what's... Yeah, we oh. saw it Saturday. Saturday, yeah, last Saturday. The, okay. Yeah, that was the day you guys got back. Yeah, it was great. That was really good. Wait, did you see it with uh, Chris and Chris? Dan, Dan Jay and the, the kids? Did, he, did Chris hate it? No, I don't think so. Oh, really? I think he enjoyed it. Uh, he start, he's a little more critical of Star Wars stuff. I think he's the biggest Star Wars fan. Yeah. Tornitos isn't bad for the money. Yeah. They have, uh, what was the, there was one, was it like a Hornitos with lime one that was pretty good, I thought? Yeah, so I think they had it that. It was pretty decent for, uh, you know, it was, it was a shot tequila. Yeah. And yeah, Hornitos in general, I think it's decent for the price that they charge for it. Yeah, I mean, it could be, it could be worse, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, then Cuervo Gold, you're probably okay. <laughs> You want my Cuervo Gold? Yeah, we're gonna use that today. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna do a uh, Coca Cola red wine? Coca Cola red wine? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. What's a thing? We'll eventually need that juicy ass wine. It's called, uh. uh gosh, I can't remember what it's called. So I'm just probably gonna look it up before I can. No, we're doing a Coca Cola. It's like 50 50 Coca Cola and red wine. I guess it's a thing. No, this is a Cuba Libre with tequila. Oh, somebody bought them and they went up? What are we talking about? Hornitos? Hornitos? Who can buy Hornitos? I don't know. Because that's how it was. No. They used to yes. Be I don't know. And they were cheap, but ever since they got bought, the prices went Calamocho. up. Calamocho. being irregular. That's what it's called, the Calamocho. Calamocho? No. But we do have one with tomato juice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds, Sounds like good. Priyana. You sound like Priyana. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you normally go. <laughs> we got we got a live stream going on Snapchat. It's on uh, youtubecom slash everydaydrinker slash live. YouTube. Yeah, that's right. That was stealth. I know. That's what I do. I'm a stealthy guy. I'm gonna put some shocks. I'm like, I ordered some shocks yeah, too. For your car? Yeah. So I got them. They came in yesterday. I'm gonna try to get in there before John. Well, when Johnny's done with my AC and get them put on. Mm. Oh no! Don't no! do that. Where's that coming la, from? La 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 la. Why did music start to play through my? Oh, it's still playing. Bad YouTube algorithm checking music. It's Nickelback, <laughs> so who cares? But whatever. Is it Where's it coming from? It's still playing. It's probably coming from. Your... I. Oh. Does it from your phone? This. Oh, it's puddle mud. Puddle mud. Sorry. I was la la so I couldn't hear it. I don't, it was pretty, where did it come from? Oh, it was coming out of the, the yes, TV. Because the TV's, the IMAX bounced the video over to the TV. That should be enough, huh? Well, is that all of them? No, there's one more. Oh. You want me to do it? Uh, oh, do we need fine. orange garnishes? Because I've just I, been... You don't have to cut it. I don't, I don't, there should be plenty in there now. Um, so, I'm going to try this again, but with less heat. Just do no heat. Just cold water is going to be good enough, I think. And don't dump it in there. Put it in there while it's pouring so it acclimates a little more gradually. It's not going to happen, though, because it's freaking cold. Okay. It's not frozen, so it's warmer than that. That's all you need. Yeah, but it's not going to be fast enough. Ah, it's my nipples. Still my nipples. Yamaka? No. No yamakas. <laughs> Especially orange juice yamakas. yamakas. No orange husk yamakas. No. No fam? No el... T what? No el toro. Tequila, everything in this entire month is going to be Alma. That's why they're there. They paid for the space. If El Toro wants to pay, we'll do another month. I don't know El Toro. I've had... They have the, don't they have a little sombrero on their thing? I'm trying to figure out Paradisus. Is that El Toro de Paradisus? I can't... I think it was El Toro. I think it was my first tequila. And that's the one that made me want to do the show. 
think it was that's October. Probably making margaritas. Before that, yeah, it was um, drinking straight. Like burr, it was burr. a hundred and seventy-five dollar bottle of wow. tequila. Well, this is one hundred twenty, so it's not too far off. I think the second one I got was one hundred twenty. It was the same bottle we used to get them at work. Mastanero. Mastanero. Ah, okay. The size. You've ever had a cocktail? Oh yeah, you're in college. You don't count. You gotta, you gotta fix it. Yeah, I thought so. The nasty cheap stuff. If you're out of college, then you, you have no excuses left. This is your week. What? Oh, that's a bottle. You said it's the nasty cheap stuff with the sombrero. Yeah, I thought it was a sombrero tequila. Which one? El Toro. El Toro. Yeah. Okay, that's not what I'm thinking of. El Tesoro is what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Different. El Tesoro. I'm guessing that doesn't mean bull also. Dan is coming. Dan is coming. Yeah, he'll be here on seven ish usually. He said when he, I said what time are you coming? He's like seven. What time are you starting? Six thirty. He's like, oh, I'll try to get there earlier. I'm like, you're not gonna get there earlier. We're gonna alternate. We're both tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you can't be tired because it's gonna be like stuff's happening. It's gonna be energy. Yeah. There's no. Everybody's tired all the time. You guys gotta get over your shit. Maybe you just need more caffeine. No, yeah, just no, get over no your shit. I think I'm coming out. Actually, a lot of people have been sick this week. I think I'm fucking no. catching something. I'm trying not to have pounded the vitamin C. And... Yeah. How? No, I, I'm fairly certain, like, you will be sick regardless of anybody else is even sick. <laughs> I, did, I didn't get sick all winter, so I'm probably really? new. Yeah. You were wow. sick all the whole, like, other times. Yeah, I, well, I have allergies and I get sniffly and everything, but yeah. I didn't get a flu or anything this year. Wow. I didn't get... I had no like stay home from work days yeah. from being sick, which is kind of nice. Uh, oh, yeah, it's right. Why did that just follow up? Oh, because the freaking mouse. Slow. Yeah, blame the mouse. It's never user error. It's not in this case. <laughs> oh, okay. It could be. I, I can't use that mouse anyway, so I can't say anything. <laughs> well, it's just that when you move it, see, it's still moving from when I moved it before. Because for some reason, the Wi-Fi connection between here and here is, like, really hard. Tequila helps when we're sick? Yeah. All right. Okay, grenadine. Fresh squeezed orange juice. I hope so. We're going to use Añejo for this. We're not using crap tequila, so that's good. Yeah, but we're going to use, you know why we're going to use Añejo? Because I did a what video. What are we doing? Are we doing a, uh, we're doing a cocktail? Tequila Sunrise. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we can do a cocktail. All right, what do we need? We need a cocktail glass. Well, I thought we were tasting or something first, but no, I, I I thought about it, but it doesn't really. I don't see where it's gonna fit. This. Yeah, that should already be set up, but you can check it out. Plus, we have eight drinks to do, so or um, figure six. better. Okay. Yeah, because we did a we did a three. Dan Jalith and I did a yes. tequila sunrise breakdown. What do we call those things? Uh, yeah. And the Inejo one, it seemed, was the best when I went through and watched it a couple times today or this week. So I said, why not we just go that direction and just go right into the Inejo as our first thing? Unless you're a college kid like DJ. <laughs> those college kids, man. Then, then you can go when there. Does he graduate anyway? <laughs> How long has he been going? <laughs> he's been in college ever since I've been here, hasn't he? Yeah. He's, he's, on, the year, he's on the lifelong plan. Professional student. I, oh, I have ice. You don't need it. Oh, okay. Well, wait. wait. What is it? Oh, okay, yeah. Get the bag. It's in a Ziploc bag. I made it with the clear ice thing. The clear ice maker. I'm in college for nursing. Cool. DJ's in a nurse? No, John. Do you go to college for nursing? I thought you yes. went to. You gotta get certified. Yeah, but it, it, that's at a college. Yeah. I thought they had like a specialized place for that, like a nursing. Well, yeah, they're usually. Uni this. A nur university, a nurse anniversary. <laughs> that doesn't work, does it? What? You're still in college, DJ? <laughs> This Don't worry, Ian. He's still in college. This is more fun than I thought it was going to be. I thought, I thought I was still in college. Yeah. It's a lifetime achievement. <laughs> lifetime <laughs> achievement. I have... Dude, I, do you remember lifetime the guy... Achievement, lifetime achievement. Yeah. Do you remember that guy in we'll college? We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll oh, say okay. achievement. Well, cheers, Wasn't there that guy in, in Ed Keen that had like five or six like degrees and he was like forever just going there? Like a oh. shorter guy? Yeah, yeah, I remember. This isn't plugged in, right? 
I don't know. Is it wire <laughs> hanging there or is it plugged in or something? Pull on it if it sticks. Then it was it in college for nursing? That's cool, John. My, sister, my sister's a nurse. She oh, loves that. It's stuck in here. It's right here. It's not plugged in. Right. I don't know how it got in there, but that can't be good. When do you graduate, DJ? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I did too. I made it the same day I posted it. Yes, like, I gotta get that done. Yeah, no. When did it post? Wednesday. Close to yesterday. So I called your uh, the background check people back, and they never called me back. Already? I guess it doesn't matter if you if you're already. Well, it depends on who they were. Really? Was it MIT or was it the you, Department of Defense or yeah, government? It was a company that did does all the, the third party checking for them. Yeah. The, the criminal background. Okay, the criminal. Oh, wow. Background check. I think they probably just Donna answered, so he said he did it, and so did my old boss. So they probably didn't really need me. Yeah. yeah they, so they probably asked for so many references, and, and then like just try and hit them all. And if any, yeah. if they get enough, they stop. So are you ready to go? So let me put this back. Close. Right. Yeah. I don't want it to melt all over. I th the, I'm sure the government's going to call you eventually. Oh, okay, well, if you're already working for it, does it, does it matter? Oh, yes. You need security clearance. So. Security clearance is different. Yeah. All this says is I can walk around uh, the lab without a hand holding. Right. And nobody's twisting my nipples. What's my opinion of infused spirits? Like, you make them yourself or you, something like this? Bear oh, hug, papaya infusion. And I, I think I got, like, the tripe stuff. Yeah. Which is fine. It's like lighter, so it's like he gets more mass because it's like dry, it's less wet. So it's like he gets more because oh, it's lighter. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, I never thought of that way. I never thought of that. So I don't know if he was happy with me or if he didn't like it, but he was just happy to get more. Or yeah. <laughs> He's just always happy for feeding time. That's his, that's his The only time. thing with the tripe is, man, does it smell. Uh, that doesn't bother me too much. But really? Yeah. You're good with uh, that, uh, just sheer amount of... Yeah, you kill enough people, you just get used to the, yeah. <laughs> the horrible when you, smell. The body cleanup is just yeah. it's part of the part of the gig. When you when your acid eats the body, that smells a lot worse than tripe. So yeah. well, when even worse when you forget about the body. <laughs> and it's just saying they're Who right? murders somebody and forgets about the body? Well, you you run out of because you just so often you just track. You gotta do track. it at night or you're seen that daylight track. comes and you're like, well, it's gonna have to wait, and then you get busy and. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like getting busy. I watched all of Dexter. I don't remember him ever forgetting. <laughs> oh, he forgot his slides on the air conditioner one time. Yeah, but yes. that's going to take a lot of work in doing that type of preparation. You know what you might want to well, do is I know Dan likes That was a movie. In. This is real life, so. <laughs> I know Dan likes to sneak in the back door. Right. He <laughs> seriously walks all the way around. He does. He said it was faster. Okay. So the last time he scared the crap out of me, he just like, popped right through. All right, it's going. You don't need a body. You just use acid. Alright. Yeah, you remember how to do need, this? You just need a pig file. If you buy oh, too yeah, much sure. acid, they get suspicious. Just buy a little at a time. Sure. Start your killing years later. <laughs> yeah, your stockpile. Beware of any man with a pig phone. That's true, my neighbor had a pig phone. Yes, there's such a thing as TH infused alcohol. Didn't you see us with Warren, DJ? Yeah, go Google You the... must have been in class that day because you're still in college. Right. <laughs> you need to channel search for either, either Warren Barbro or yeah. the Green Dragon. The Barbara. Green Dragon one, because we don't actually have the infusion seminar. Because no. it's uh, on Tales of the Cocktail. Yeah, it was a live, yeah. Yeah, probably they, they, they probably, probably have it. I, I mean, I have it. I could probably upload it for this little at this point. Yeah. And I don't know if that's really good for me to do that anymore. All right. Ready? Yeah. I gotta remember yeah, what. You probably don't want to do that. In there. Yeah, it's not good when you're doing do criminal background investigations and stuff. Uh, Cinco, I spelled that right. Cinco, 18. Oh, whatever, I can figure it out later. Here we go. Where is it? Cinco, 18. Yeah, it's the right. coupon code. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. I'm Derek. That is Ian. Today we're going to be showing you how to make the. What are we doing? Uh, tequila tequila sunrise. sunrise. Because it's May, and May is going to be the month of tequila. Cinco de Mayo is past. But not well. For it us, two it's days ago. For mm -hmm. us, it's two days ago. Tomorrow. Yeah. For you, it's... For you guys, it was two days ago, because this is going out on Monday. Jennifer's going to have to edit this right up quick. Yes, I am. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> two days yesterday. That, uh, two days yesterday, you guys were celebrating <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Now, all month in May, you celebrate Cinco de Mayo. So we're going to make this tequila sunrise. I'm going to break yeah. down the recipe for you. Ready? It's, it's right, because it's a building glass, right? 
Oh, well, you tell me. Tell me. Don't, don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump the gun. Don't listen. Wait, no. Listen. Just I don't know. So it's gonna be one and a half ounces of tequila. I'm using añejo tequila. It's gonna be four ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice and a half ounce of real grenadine. Don't use that roses crap. So this is a simple recipe. There's no need to skimp on the ingredients. So we're using Alma tequila. We're gonna use Alma Añejo because we partnered with Alma for the entire month of May for all of our tequila-based cocktails. We're gonna be using one or a variety of, of tequilas from Alma. Um, I don't know if I have any that I actually use two. I know we'll be going through, I don't think we're gonna need extra Añejo, but we'll have ones with Blanco. Reposado, and Iejo. So if you're looking for a new tequila brand to think about, start thinking about these guys. I, I have, I, I was itching to just say the official tequila of Common Man Cocktails. Are you gonna do it? I just did. Oh, I guess Because so. <laughs> if you think about it, like that's what the Patriots do with everything. It's like a, and the it's red a tequila screwdriver here. It is, it's like a tequila, well, hold on. Cause Fine. we have one of those coming. Oh, 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 is it? That's a different recipe. This is what happens when I don't uh, plan ahead and do that. Stuff. You didn't read up, so I'm going to read you some history. This is originally contained cre tequila, creme de cassis, lime, and soda water. It was created by Jean Solit, 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 I don't know, in 1930 or 1940, plus or minus a, a 10 years. Um, today, the new recipe is made by Bobby Lazoff and Billy Rice in the early 70s, popularized in around 1972 by Mick Jagger, and Tequila Sunrise, I'm thinking the Eagles. You know, it, it basically, it got around. The name come up, everybody started wanting to order it because famous people were ordering it, and thus you have the creation of a tequila sunrise. Um, we're using the Añejo in here, right? So, yes. the Alma Añejo is aged 18 months. So, if you've watched our video right here, you're going to see how you break down the different tequila by ages because I never remember what they are. But I wrote them down. I have, I have cards this time because I don't want to be an idiot. Well... Yeah, yeah. I don't like hey, it. Too much you do what you can, can, right? Yeah. Some exactly. things are out of your control. <laughs> That's just how life That's happens how life to three. Well, so, serenity prayer. When you're doing a, a legit, um, what is this, tequila sunrise, the fact that we're using a real, what do you call this stuff? Grenadine. A grenadine. A it's going to mix more than it is going to sink like right. a syrup would. It's not going to be, you can see the darkness. Call. I told you he was going to come through the back door. You, you can see the darkness I rising the to the Dan yellow. Likes to come through the back door. <laughs> That's why I said Dan likes the back door. <laughs> and so that is because we don't have red number 40. Right. Right. So you're using actual pomegranates to color this. The only alternative is to add more grenadine to the strength, which is completely doable, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's it's just going to make it too sweet. Yeah. yeah. That. So that, my friends, I'm going to drink it. Oh, first drink of the night. Hits you right here. Actually, it's got a nice little sweetness to it. It does. Fresh orange juice is the key because it doesn't have any of that weird fakey fake orange juice flavor. Or Tell me likey. The, uh, oh, this, is, this is really easy to drink. It's very refreshing. It's a little sweet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, You're sucking off the bottom. Yeah. Well, I did a, I did mm -hmm. a, I did the uh, slide whistle suck. Oh. <laughs> slide whistle. Trademark, patent <laughs> pending. <laughs> you got to watch the slide whistle suck. Uh, I didn't do the slide that's whistle gonna, suck. That's, that's going to be a new rap song. <laughs> it's going to have like, completely new meanings. That's interesting lyrics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this has that salty, citrusy tequila hmm. flavor. Right. But it's not, even though it's an Añejo, it doesn't taste like bourbon. No. no it no. it still has the... Agave flavor. Yeah, it still tastes like yeah. tequila. And it, it does, it, I don't know, it doesn't taste like Añejo, but from... Uh, here's another video where Dan, Jalith, and I break down all the different uh, tequila sunrises with the different flavors or the different ages of tequila. And the ones that we tended to prefer was Añejo. You at home can use a Blanco if you feel like you should because that's just what you want to do. Nobody's going to harm you. I, yeah, I think they, I they think. definitely all have their place in different drinks. Yeah. Right. And this drink is so simple that you can kind of get away with doing whatever type of flavor there, you're looking for. There's some drinks that we've done where a, Blanca is, a Blanco is far superior to yep. the Reposado or the Añejos. Because the Blanco does a good job. Like, this drink is very single dimension. It tastes like orange juice, sweetness. Yeah, plus, you have the heavy, the heavy sweetness of the orange juice and, right. the, and the grenadine. 
So this is gonna come through a little bit more. But when you have something that has a ton of different flavor profiles. Yeah. Or it's a little more subtle. Right. This yeah. can chainsaw through a lot of those. Like if you yeah. if you're like a basils or a or a pepper, hot pepper, spicy stuff like that, mm -hmm. this one tends to be so bright and up front that it yeah. if you use the the extra or extra añejo and añejo, it's it's almost like you're you're losing a lot of its fun factor to what these bring. You, this is a different type of fun. This is like, so let's start the party, drink a couple beers, and, and jump in the pool naked. You you probably do the blanco for shots if you're gonna put in some some blanco and some lime juice, shake it up, get a little yeah. dilution, and that'll be your shot tequila. That's true. If you're gonna do shots if, tequila, if you're gonna do shots tequila, yeah. not a huge fan. Uh, and neither is our executive producer yeah. Cynthia Kupal. Just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, well, thanks, Cynthia. Uh, for supporting us, you can you could be like. Alma, but on an individual basis, and you could just go to patreon.com slash cmc and, and leave us a couple bucks a month. That would be awesome, like Cynthia did. Um, doesn't suck. Does, doesn't it suck. does not slide with some it doesn't slide. <laughs> This drink, the only, the only downfall that I think, and I don't know how we could fix this, but the only thing that, taste it now, the difference is, or maybe it's just because it's building glass, but it's so much better with the coldness. Before, because you're using four okay. ounces of, of room temperature orange juice. Yeah. Uh, this is, it's a little bit And more you don't want to stir it because you, well, you're you made, the what you could do is you could do a little shake and, uh, yeah, shake, shake, shake the and ice strain and, the, and then add the grenadine at yeah, the end. So you just get do the, the grenadine. The, the, uh, grenadine the, the sunrise effect. Right. If you want to do that. Or it just is stir nice, it. It is nice when it chills up. But. Yeah, it's, it just has that, it's just a little bit tastier, I think. Yeah. Crisper? Right, a little more refreshing. So what you need to do now, first thing you need to do is to go to almadeagave.com and, you know, check out their website. Alma because... Almadeagave. Of agave. Of a, yeah. Alma, it's right here. <laughs> Almadeagave. It's a part of their name. Yes. I call it Alma because it's a big word. Right. Uh, they have a place where you can actually buy it online, which goes to Nicaragua.net, I believe. Unless you already shop at Nicaragua.net. I don't because we're in New Hampshire. It doesn't really always work very good. You got one? No. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> There's one from right. uh, uh, Stephen that says, "What to do when there's no power due to a wicked storm?" What would you question today? I'd never asked that question in ten years. What do you What do you do? What when do you, you do in a storm? I don't think we've ever asked that question. What do you do when you lose power? I can tell you in a lot of cases. I mean, I don't know how you watch CMC if you don't have any power, but battery. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Oh, battery. Yeah, cell phone. Battery. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cell phone until the tower goes down. Um, you could play a little heads up. That's what we do sometimes because board games are like totally. Yeah, old. you can't see board games. Light a candle, read some comics. <laughs> <laughs> you break out the blanco because that's the start of the party. <laughs> you you, you, jump in you start here. Yeah. <laughs> and you jump in the pool naked. <laughs> you just go to bed and hope the power's on when we wake up. Hey, you, go. you know what? <laughs> I can swim without power. <laughs> I think that's your answer to everything. Yeah, that, that's the answer. Yeah, no, I like going to bed. <laughs> going to bed. Going to bed's always good. Drink and fap. Frap. No. What? What? Yeah, it says drink and frap. Okay. Is right. that is that an extra R, Eric, or you, yeah, or does frap mean something? Like that I don't know. Well, frap is a thing you would ice. <laughs> I have to slide whistle suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, thanks to Alma for supporting it. Thanks for the audience for watching it. Thanks for the slide whistle suck. Uh, we have a coupon code sure, for Alma's awesome. I appreciate that. Oh yeah. yeah. But uh, whatever. They, they, you know what? They know what they're getting into. Well, I'm That's gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit more Buyer, about beware. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Alma in the next episode. In in our relationship with Carmack Cocktails. But that's that's a teaser. So you stick around for Wednesday. <laughs> Two more days, dude. Coupon code is Cinco18 at Austrix.com where you can go and you can get the bartender starter kit or any of the other syrups if you're looking for some legit grenadine so you can make yourself a good tequila sunrise. Mm -hmm. um, the sidebar has every video that we've ever done with the word tequila in it. Wow. So there's a lot that's of friggin', it's a playlist that every time you use tequila, it gets put in there. So that's where you're gonna get your cocktails, DJ. Don't know how to make a tequila cocktail. That's it, we're well, teaching you. That's why you go to college to learn these things. <laughs> <laughs> how to drink. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> <laughs> See, frap with two P's is a, it's a drink. ice beverage. Yes. 
Fap with no peas. Fap is no peas is jerking the old gherkin. <laughs> <laughs> right. So then what is a frap with one pea? <gasps> oh, 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 is he's it? jerking off with ice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Where do you live, Eric? Is it hot there? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 that's come out. <laughs> oh, frappuccino? No. No, that's when you have sex with the same girl with somebody else, your Eskimo brothers. <laughs> Wait, what? They, there was a lot of more words I feel I like you need. Oh, you sleep with the same girl? Yeah, if we slept with the same girl, we'd yeah. be Eskimo brothers because we, we took oh, solace because... in the same cave. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what the best part? All the rest of that stuff you was... Put, I was saying fire. No. <laughs> I was fine with everything he said. None of it was awkward for what... Which is weird. None of it was awkward. Didn't feel weird about any of it. But solace. Solace. No, but the use of solace. I was like, trying to think of a good word. I'm taking solace. Yeah, taking like, solace. And that's like care. that's like some sort of like uh, I don't know like Game of Thrones style shit. Frosty like, the Snow Hand. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh yeah. Ready? <laughs> no. Here we go. Today we're gonna be making a tequila sunrise the legit way. What does that mean? I don't know. Keep watching. It's good. That's what it means. It's good. Yeah, you can go off on your. <laughs> now, now we can talk about our whacking. So a frappuccino brother, a frappuccino brother, frappuccino brother. Is that two people who who screw the same Eskimo? Yeah, but it's fap. So when you yeah, but you've oh yeah yeah shit. Frappuccino. You've been jerked off by the same Eskimo. Oh yeah, that, that works. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's Swedish. Yeah. Frapp brother. Oh, you're drinking out of the bottle. You did you do the slide? Oh yeah, I did the slide. <laughs> I did the side side Tag. Oh no! I'm tagging you in. I'm already going in by myself? It's fresh. It's fresh. I'm going in by myself. He wants to be an Eskimo brother. Good luck. I was like, I'm over here, but I'm hearing him stuttering. What? What? I'm like, I think I think you just broke in. Well, I'm trying to think of people I could, get, could hook you up to screw would be an Eskimo brother, but yeah. he's like I was trying to think of people I could I could set, set you up with. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he, I'm not gonna bang your wife. So. I, I like that like you just got stuck sense. there. And it just doesn't make sense. It's just like, uh, but it would solve the problem. It would, it would make for maybe an awkward work relationship. It, it I don't may. Know. I don't know. I don't know. It all depends if you're better. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there you go. And there you go. No, I'll do something else. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got the whole slide whistle thing going. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got that talent, so you're good. So now I have to rely on you to make this correctly. I know. Now what am I making? Something complicated? No. I could have made the freaking tequila sunrise. Oh, good, because this one's not much more it'll show up on time than you could have. Damn it. Eric's giving him shit. So tequila sunrise is a good drink. We can make that at your graduation, DJ. <laughs> but we have an ongoing joke. Is that DJ has already graduated college, but I didn't oh, know did? that. So we so. keep making no, sure we keep pretending oh, that we didn't know that. Nice. And he keeps doing I uppercase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't know that. Um, for... Fresh orange juice. This one's gonna have lime juice. We did a nayo. So. So you want to do rough salad? Yes, sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Four yeah. ounces. Yeah. Orange juice. Yeah. Yeah. Lime. Lime. Highball. Oh, we don't need grenadine. Highball. Oh yeah. Do you need another one? Found out today. No. Coffee and the state. Yeah, it's the La Hacienda in Nashua is actually just a piece of steak. <laughs> no, it's a horrible one. I hear that place sucks. <laughs> I hear their bar is good. Right. We went there once and it was just, it was bad. Maybe. I, I heard somebody, I heard actually a couple people said their bar was good. Their food is horrible. Yeah, yeah their food's horrible. But they're this. still in business, so something, somebody's going there. <laughs> You know what? And it's it's yeah. busy too. And I don't know if it's just because the well, other place is always no taste. So yeah, yeah. that's true. I'm guessing that's what that means. <laughs> uh, no, give me another glass. <laughs> it gave up. Yeah, that one looks like poop. <laughs> this one's got dog hair popping out of it. Where's that all coming? Are we shaking this one? Ah. Uh, Add ice to a highball, Collins glass, shake, yeah, strain, and serve. No idea, but I already graduated from college. That's upsetting. Yes. I guess I never got around to telling you guys after I did. DJ, you have to also understand that we don't necessarily care. 
know like, when he gets our sense of humor. No, I don't. You know when you well, like, they care. Money, people yeah. have. Yeah. They, they care. I expect people going through life processes. Like, everybody eventually graduates. We just have to understand. We kick people when they're down. Yeah. Right. That's just what we do. Yeah, that's. that's Isn't it easier? Yeah. As soon as you're waving the flag saying, that's not me, we're going to pick Right, right. That's right. Yeah. Yes. That's a, that's a good. Here you go. That's a good yeah. life lesson. And I had a buddy who didn't know get this. But like when somebody says something and you don't like it, yes, damn it, you don't go out of your way to make sure everybody knows you don't like it. Because what happens is they go, wait a minute, that's the thing. Exactly. And then they just boom, boom, yes. right. And that's a lot of fun. <laughs> right. If when yeah, I get hurt, when I get hurt, he makes good noises. So <laughs> I should, so I when I get hit, and you tell me you don't want to ask him a whole <laughs> <you> fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Doesn't mean we're doing it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> when, when he hits me with the towel, I stand here. When you get hit by a towel, you squeal. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. And the squealing is why he keeps doing it. The squeal, yeah, but it hurts. How am I supposed to stop squealing? <laughs> I don't. I don't. You get hit by a fucking towel. A little tip. I do. He ain't keep sending me with his tip. You squeal too. <laughs> I don't. They all do. <laughs> they all do. All I'm saying is no. <laughs> That, that. Yep. Orange juice, that's it? Yep. That's all we're doing? Well, because they're, they're, we're getting up, we're going to get up in complexity. Start easy. I need a uh, jigger, jigger. Oh, and you probably you're need a strainer. I got it. And a strainer. Yeah. I'm I keeping know. it simple because nice. I, I know you're going to be confused. <laughs> probably. But by the end, things get crazy. You got tomato juice, we got some orgeat, we got, it gets crazy. But we're starting, we're ramping up through the month. Look at you. What? Taking the ranch. What the fuck is that thing? What are we talking about? I don't know. There's something in that bottle. Oh, that's a uh, papaya. Oh. Yeah. It's called bear hug. You're going to have it tomorrow. Don't worry. Okay. It's papaya. Just a tip. Just a tip. Just a tip. Just a tip. Hashtag. Ready? Welcome to Comic Man Cocktails. That's Dan. That's Derek. And today, we're doing the second cocktail in tequila month. A whole month of tequila cocktails. Whole month. This is called the Matador. I'm gonna have you make the matador because I'm gonna make it? it's so freaking simple. Where is he in? Shit. He, he made okay, a I'll simple he made even a simpler drink. Yes. You are a little level up. So what yeah. we did is I, he couldn't I, handle this I started with the tequila sunrise and I'm creeping through the complexity. We're building up to it over time. So which tequila like are we using? We're gonna use Reposado. So uh, we'll we use Alma de Gave Reposado. You can check them out on almadegave.com. They are partnering with us for the entire month. So I'm just gonna nibble extra information at you about Alma throughout the month. Okay. So this is ounce and a half oh, yeah. of tequila. Yep. Four ounces of fresh squeezed orange juice. Yep. And a half ounce of lime juice. Simple. It's just yeah. like a Easy. tequila sunrise, right? Except for there's no sunrise effect. It's supposed to be less known than a margarita, um, and it's built sort of like a tequila sunrise. So it's it's kind of like a hybrid between the two. Uh, the, I kind of adjusted the ratios to be more like um, what the tequila sunrise was because it should because the tequila sunrise was a good drink. So this just drink. brings Easy. the same the same ratio to it. You can also find um, it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a jackhammer, which is a screwdriver with pineapple juice and tequila. Yeah. Which, it's not really, it's a mixed drink more than it's in a cocktail. Uh, you've, I've also seen this with orange liqueur, um, a few dashes of bitters, um, like a pineapple margarita. But this is so much simpler. I want to just take a simple approach to things. It's pretty easy. It is. Sexy. Um, so reposado sexy. that we're using. You can use a Blanco if you only have the Blanco. A Reposado, you can use an Añejo like we do with the Sunrise. I didn't want to do an Añejo again because we just did one, but this recipe kind of can go a can go either way. It's just use tequila. Um, I'd use an aged tequila. And this drink? You'd use an aged tequila? I would, yeah. Which is this. This is a yes, aged so 18 months. 18 no, wait. Months? No, six, six months. months. Six months in oak barrels. All the Alma product is aged, well, besides the Blanco, obviously, would be aged in a Canadian oak barrel. If you watched our video that I put out not too long ago on... Uh, tequila, seven facts about tequila. I talked about how they're usually American barrels or uh, French oak barrels. These are Canadian, which Canadian. I guess is still American oak barrels. Uh, no, they're in hey. Canada. Sorry. Can't hear myself, thank. <laughs> the girls were talking back there. Yeah. Uh, can, Canada's still in America. 
right? So, in North America. Yeah, so is it a North America? But when you say an American oak barrel, is it North American oak barrel or is it a United States America? I don't know. I don't know if it really matters. As long as it might, because they might do it differently. Could be. Maybe they burn it different. The oak's a little more north. You can't do it yet. Yeah. <laughs> See? I, I'll buy that. You. I got you there. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I got you there. It is awful north. Uh, I got some cue cards so I could remember to dump information off. So the Alma brand is an estate produced tequila. It's all 100% Blue Weber. So again, if you watch the video I put out that I already told you about, it talks about how tequila has to be made from the species of agave plant called Blue Weber. Obviously, these guys are going to fit that category because it has the brand tequila. The other thing is the Alma brand likes 100% de agave. There's none of that mixed oak crap. There's none of that, like, let's cheapen our brand. But what they've pretty much done is just made a cost-effective tequila. Yeah. And then you get, it gives more people the option of buying a good tequila. No, is it as cheap as like the bottom of the barrel fake stuff? You don't want that. You don't, no, because you want to like wake up without a headache. Exactly. Wanna, and by far, out of every comment, and I get a lot of tequila comments, because people are like, oh, I know, you know, because we have a lot of Jose Cuervo ranting going on mm. and people find it. But like the problem that people have had, and they said they didn't have it with 100% de agave, is it they don't wake up with a headache. You might still not have your pants on. Yeah. But at least you're not waking That's up with a migraine. That's a good thing. Maybe. Right. Eric says, God, I get so aroused when Dan shakes that shaker. Is hey. that normal? So what I do. <laughs> I get that. Learn that from Ian. <laughs> <laughs> so, try it again. And these are from Jalisco. Jalisco? The Highlands of Jalisco. It's nice. It's almost it's a like a sunrise, but it's not as sweet. Exactly, yeah. Yes. It's it's where we looked at the sunrise and you had taken a sip when we were near the end. It too, was, so yeah. It was like this grenadine sitting at the bottom. This is for those that want the concept of tequila sunrise, which is dead simple tequila and OJ, but they don't want it to taste like sweet. Yes. This has more than margarita tartness. Yes. But orange juice is still sweet. So it's, it's still, still sweet. sweet. It's just that little bit of lime and it, it tastes like... Uh, if you had an orange margarita. If you went to like Texas Roadhouse or someplace and you ordered like whatever their, you know, highly expensive specialized Special house orange margarita. margarita, whatever, and they put a like cool garnish on it or something, this probably would be what it tastes like. You get, you get the tequila. You do. It actually probably would be better, I think, for the Anejo. Because of that rich, like that buttery richness that comes mm. from the Anejo. Um, yeah, because it's like right in between. It's not as bright and, and, and explosive as the Blanco, but it's not as mature and kind of like toned back. Yeah, it's toned. You know. It's definitely, you, it comes through, but the orange definitely plays a big yeah. part. Simple. Mm. I look at that more of a mixer. This would be something I would invent by mistake. Like, I just, like I did the other night, I was like, I just wanted like banana rum and some stuff. Mm. I just threw it together. Like, you could easily throw this together. And without even knowing what my ratios are, you can make something you're probably going to like. Orange it's like juice. you're making a margarita and, and you... You just didn't want to go all the way. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't have that much lime and you're yeah. like, oh, I'll just put some orange juice in it. And I don't want to do the orange liqueur. It's already got orange juice. Yeah. So why do I need to go the... And, and you make a larger volume drink. Or if you don't want a sweet tequila sunrise. That's true. That's the real answer is this yeah. is your solution to sweet tequila sunrise. It is. It's a little more sophisticated. And it gets more sophisticated to the fact that we're partying with our pants off. Yes. Oh, um, we gotta go high five, Derek. Executive producer for this episode is Lance. Lance has been an executive producer for two years, so that's pretty awesome. If you want to be an executive producer, go to patreon.com slash CFC, and you can help fund the show like our friends at Alma did. Oh, you ready? Oh, oh, wow. That wasn't that bad. I know. That was yeah. <laughs> I think you should do it again. Oh, that one almost hit my face. That's because my, <laughs> my hand broke back. Yeah, see? Still fighting. Where else? You need to subscribe to this show. Where else can you go where, like, we're just talking all sophisticated, like, and exactly. somebody comes running in to give you a high five? A random hand. Right. We don't even know who that was. Right. I know. So click the bell icon. Yeah. So that next episode, that could, might happen again. And maybe you'll find out who belongs to that hand. That's true.
You might already know, but... If you've watched anything on the Tequila Sunrise. That's a teaser. Interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> we like our teasers! <laughs> teaser. Here's the teaser. Down below, you're going to find a coupon code that pops up that says Cinco18. You can use that to save 18% off until beginning of June on AustinDrinks.com, where you can get the Bartender Starter Kit, which you can find now right below. Get it. And then the sidebar, there's some videos. Once on Tequila. That one you should watch, because there's probably at least 300 videos in there. And Tequila's fun. Right. Much fun as Especially you can Especially the Alma brand. With your pants on or off. Pants optional! We're teaching off. you how to drink! Most spring breakers are off on Tequila. Lay down, don't you shut that off. Ah, uh, see? Right. You saw it. I didn't know. It's on. It's going. It's going. Ready? There. Ready? Uh, today we're making a cocktail uh, that uses a tequila that's almost like a tequila sunrise. But it's not. <laughs> it's not. Because it ain't sweet. It's true. But it's still good. It is. Drink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever you're going to do is now doable. I just realized that it's probably easier just to sit here instead of trying to read over Jen's lap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't have to type and then be like, <laughs> He's like, this is easier. it's weird watching the video though, oh, yeah, because yeah. you're trying to look at that and you're watching the video and you're listening to the talk and you're like, I don't watch the video. Like, it's a long video right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, is another easy one. It's a coolie berry. Oh, you hit the power button again. The top one. Uh, yeah, no, over. Yep. Yep, no, over. God. So. No warm. <laughs> Sounds like what happens when the lights are out. Yep, no, nope, over. Wrong hole. <laughs> over. Wrong hole. Ooh, finger. you got me. <laughs> what is that? It's a power finger. <laughs> you didn't? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like slide whistle. Like yeah. Water. Slide whistle slide song. Whistle. Power finger turns into slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> you can string all these moves together at your own discretion, <laughs> or we're just giving you the tools. Right. Yeah, you have to create your own masterpiece. Decorating a baby shower cake, what should I drink? Probably champagne. What? Decorating a baby shower cake. Uh, you know what I would do? I would Maybe do... you shouldn't drink if you're decorating a cake for a baby shower. <laughs> if you're decorating... say champagne. Oh, All right, so decor... What should you drink? I don't know, but I know what you should decorate it with. I saw this thing on Reddit the other day. It was a little cake that says, your pullout was weak. I like it. Yeah. Your pullout was weak. Your, your pullout game is weak. Yeah, your pullout game was weak. That's what it was, yeah. Uh, an S. Are you missing an S? Sorry, that's not helping, is it? I had no. S. This is a picture. The man, the legend. Is it the game? Pull out. Pull no, out game. This is the man, the legend. Isn't it? It says this guy fucks. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was the man that kicked on when it's complicated. Because uh, I'm wondering if like uh, Silicon Valley took that when they say about Jared, this guy fucks. I wonder if they took that from Barstool. Oh, Asperger's. Oh, ah, okay. In Spain, one of the guys was wearing the shirt. Really? And we went out, and so all of us said the king. I said this is the man of the king. Uh. And so all night, we're like, king. Like, get over here! We're, like, we're, making, we're not, this is just a build in, right? Yes. It's like we grab a bunch of girls and we're like, so king! We're like, king, come here! And also with you. <laughs> Damn. Um, Did he go along with it? Oh, he's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not the king. We're like, you're wearing the shirt, you're the king. <laughs> you can't wear the shirt and deny it. That's yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. The king is dead, long live the king. The king didn't end up showing up to the morning meeting, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was online, right? What? Look, you frosted pretty well, huh? Yeah. That didn't even crack. No. Well, it's not going to crack. We didn't put it in boiling hot water like last time. The other yeah. stuff was boiling. Lesson in learned. I saw the bubbles popping out. Not really. Cinco de Mayo. Uh, you're going to wrap us up. I'll just put these here. Ready? Um, That's going? Nope. Not even close. Not even close. I mean, you just push the button and it's done. It's either on or off, but it's off. Sounds like a woman. No, no. <laughs> no, it's like half on, and you gotta like work on it. And looking at you off. Just got practice. <laughs> Just got practice throwing it back, DJ. All right, I see. I, I see your point. Today we are going to be mixing up the batanga. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Someone who asked what we're mixing up. Because <laughs> I'm about to say exactly that. Like, well, well, we haven't started yet, so I wanted to know. So. Well, what? You ready? You want to see the? That's a good choice, Dave. Here we go. That's go gonna happen. 
Welcome to Comet Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. You are watching Tequila Month here at Comet Cocktails, where you're going to like and subscribe to the show because we're going to be making the Batanga. Which is basically a version of a Cuba Libre. Exactly. So, if you're into Cuba Libres or you wish they didn't have rum because you're not a big fan of rum, this is your answer, of course, yeah, unless you problem. don't like tequila. Um, how can you not be a big fan of rum? I don't know how you think exactly. Well, some people are just fucked in the head. So yeah. so. <laughs> we can't um, all be perfect. We, yeah. <laughs> can't all be perfect. So, the perfect ratio for this recipe is going to be two ounces of Reposado. You can use Blanco. What are we using? Did you already do that yet? Nope. Okay. We're going to use Repo. Let's use Repo. Half ounce of fresh lime juice topped with Coca-Cola. Um, and you can salt the rim if optional. I'm not going to... If optional? It just, it's optional. I'm not going to salt the rim because <laughs> salt doesn't really work for me that often. And we're going to straw this up so... It makes sense. I'm using some refreshing Mexican Coke because what would a Batanga be made with American Coke and a high fructose corn syrup BS? Um, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Maybe poop. Okay. I was uh, going to give you an answer that was wise ass, but I, I, I couldn't think of anything. So you, no. we're good. There you go. So, you gotta, you gotta, I would have gotten away with it if weren't you damn kids. You have to whistle. So you could pour, you could build it over here if you don't want to do it behind the glass. I'm a secretive type of motherfucker. Secret Asian so. man. Um, I used to think that was secret Asian man. Yes, I remember that. We had that. That was one of the questions. Of the day. <laughs> Misheard lyrics. Yeah. Um, Af Af Toto's Africa. I always thought it was. Uh, do, 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 there's do, nothing do, that hundred hundred men on Mars could ever do. Oh, it makes sense. Because yeah. even one person on Mars can't breathe. Hundred of them. Yeah, it's this real. Is twisty. Yeah? It's legit. I have a thing over here. Um, things to say. So first, you should go out and buy yourself some some Alma tequila because. I mean, they're partnering with us for the entire month. So why would you want to help them out, help us out? Plus, on top of which, it's the official tequila Oops. of Comic Cocktails because we like it. And here's the funny thing. These guys, actually, I get... They, first, first off, there's no other brand that I've worked with that tags other people in videos and shares my stuff. Like, a brand that actually cares enough to share my stuff. Hmm. I've never had Mexican before. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Uh, why? I don't live in Mexico. <laughs> Neither do I. So, if you're... I don't know if you know this, but... <laughs> it's it, rare that I think you guys are more worldly than I am. Well, you better now. <laughs> but now I've been, I've learned my lesson. You've been <laughs> so, if you're watching this on Facebook and you see Tommy <laughs> tagging other people, that is That's Alma funny. doing their job, showing, showcasing comic cocktails, just because they want to. It's a partnership. Yeah, and I've actually never worked with them in a business standpoint before. It's just usually kind of like hanging out and being cool. That's good. I don't know. That's the best kind of relationship. I don't know. The organic type. I like organic. Organic. I suppose to. Organic? Orgasmic. Oh. <laughs> That was a good team. I thought we were going back to the fab joke. I'm <laughs> kind of. I, I was surprised I had to lead you there. I... I am also surprised. I was, I was, Maybe I, I didn't have enough caffeine. caffeine. I can know. I was thinking that was your wheelhouse <laughs> or igloo. <laughs> <laughs> That's my igloo. You'd have to watch the live stream for that one. That ain't bad. It doesn't taste like a Cuba Libre, though. No, it doesn't. It tastes like a uh, batanga. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> no, but it's got... It's the the Coke is subtle. Yeah, it's the lime. Yeah. It's the lime. Even a Cuba Libre doesn't have too too much lime. Maybe a half ounce. I usually would. I would it, do a half ounce. But normally, I a, a Cuba Libre, you take a, a lime wedge and you squeeze, squeeze it, it, which is like maybe a eight or a quarter. Of I think an it's, ounce. Like, it's probably a quarter, and it's, it's a lot less it's lost by the time because it yeah. starts at the top, and maybe you eventually get to. This is kind it's of more bad. integrated. It gives it a little bit more balance. It's when in Mexico, got some bite. Ask about the slide whistle suck. <laughs> <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. I thought it was natural. <laughs> It has a little bit of like of a, a like it has some salty nature on its own. So just because of the tequila, I think. Yeah, like yeah. that salty, it's got the lime, it's got the agave flavor. I, I wonder if that salty thing is like a a mental suggestion. Like so many times so many times you pair tequila and salt, and salt together tequila. where you're doing like the but tequila shots or margaritas or something. Yeah. And like you, you just mentally think tequila and salt. So I'm wondering if that know. salty flavor, despite the fact that there's no salt in here. Is more of a mental suggestion. I than... think it's part. I, I would go the opposite. I, my argument, and I have no science behind this, but my argument is that. Well, let's hear it out. The, the, <laughs> the flavor, pro, the taste profile of a lot of tequilas has like 
uh, the salt, the black pepper, the white peppers, the mm -hmm. the spiciness to it. Okay. The the the, the all the type of different spices, not just hot, but that made people go, you know what I should do? Why don't we be redundant and add more? It's like, why would you add well, orange liqueur to orange juice? They do, right? It's like, oh, it's got drinks. some salty nature to it. We should add salt to it. It's got a little well, limey, see, citrus, fruity nature to it. Let's add well, some. Well, salt also has other, uh, yeah, other but, properties when it comes to a drink, and negating bitterness. As long as you're like not that. rimming. I mean, when you're rimming it like they do with the margarita, I don't think that's okay. built there to do that. The right. way we do it, when you add the like, little saline drips, and right. we have, we're thinking... If you're doing science behind it, yeah. it's one thing. If you're doing just the flavor thing behind right. it, it's another. Yeah, yeah, if you're at Buffalo Wild Wings, they put salt, they're not like, yes, we're thinking it's the because science. because everybody else does it. <laughs> right, exactly. And I don't like the salt kind of falling in this. This has enough of that flavor profile to begin mm. with. I don't I don't think I'd want to damage it with more. You want to damage it with more? I just wanna I wanna test. Um I'm not gonna damage your experience. Okay. Oh you're gonna put it in your mouth and then shoot it? Lick it? You're gonna do the college kid thing? Like DJ? Mm. You gotta lift your shirt up. <laughs> I mean <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. I just got the weirdest like in my nose, it was like I snorted something other than salt. I don't know. I don't know, but that was pretty funny. Hours, I don't know. So what did it do besides that? I, it didn't, I don't know. It's still in your mouth, so you should be able to get it. This is also, by the way, Alma has a small batch, double pot distilled. So if you've watched our oh, videos- Oh, it's the second distillation I'm tasting then. <laughs> yes. That makes sense. If you're watching our, if you, no, if you've seen our distillation <laughs> video where we talk about column I, I versus think, pot and vodka typically is column, yeah. rum could be a blend. Right. And the, I don't the know pot, if they do. They, they tend to get more column. character out of the pot. Yes. Yeah, so you so. get a lot more flavor and you also it, don't get this high proof as you It do. tends to be a less efficient process. Yeah. Which, which leaves, leaves more, uh, the column distilleries. Yeah, because you, you got to do more to get more product, mm -hmm. the same amount of product out. Right. But you also get those residual imperfections that add the flavor profiles. Right. The things that people complain uh, about with vodka, the flavor. Right. You get more of that. And uh, if you watch the video I did on the seven facts of tequila, an agave plant takes eight to ten years before you can harvest it. So if you throw a little seedling in the ground, you're waiting eight to ten years before you can even get to a blanco stage. Right. You know, and that's, that's just that's to get a the peanut weeks. before you even distill it. Right. Yeah. So, I mean... That, there's a distinct reason why tequila is more expensive than vodka. However, there's a balance because Alma and there's some other brands out there too that have realized, hey, we don't have to price things way up here because we're super extra exclusive. What if we brought tequila down to an average level? It's not going to be $9.99, but $28, $30, you know, middle 40s for some of the more expensive stuff. Not this. This is like $120, I think. But... Uh, to, to kind of like bounce out and go, let's allow more people to experience good tequila. Maybe that draws them away from that that impression that they get. Like, Sounds oh, like tequila just makes me get headaches and it's bad and blah. Sounds like a alcohol-related <laughs> economics class. Because you're, you're talking about yeah, we supply and demand. Much. You're improving the demand by like improving the supply. That's right. brains. Yeah. That's smartness. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was doing that just... DJ would know all about that because I remember I took a class in college. I took the micro and the macro and I was mm. course in college. I still remember that. That was 20 years ago. It must be really fresh in DJ's head. You're he pretty probably... old. You're getting there. <laughs> 20 you, you got a couple of years on me though. Uh, so. whatever. It's always going to be that it's way. It's always going to be that way. You can always uh, call me old and I can just look at you. Not right? if I murder you, then I win. You'll still be older. You'll yeah. still be older. If you murder you, he has to murder you. Then maybe I, I should get a shirt. I might always be older than you, but you're gonna be dead <laughs> sooner. Well, I'm probably gonna be dead sooner, but yeah. well, you don't have to murder me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> With that, yeah. On that positive note, there's there's a coupon code for Austin Drake's down below. It's called Cinco 18 for May, Cinco de Mayo, Tequila five, Month. Wait, is it C I N C O 18 or is it 518? C I N C O H. That's why you look at the pop up. Okay, look at the pop up. Yeah. Or in the description someplace. He's not mixing his languages. No. You can also click down below to head over to Alma's website, which is almadagave.com. You can also click here. There's a bartender server kit, and then there's two videos off to the side. One's going to have tequila, and it's going to have a lot of tequila. Tons of tequila cocktails to consume your day. Not all at once. We're teaching you Pro how to drink, because that would be bad for responsibility, right? It's pro level. Pro! Work your way up to it. Tequila challenge! All the recipes in our playlist. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Ready? Uh. Mm. Mm? Yeah. Uh. Mm. 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 You get it. Yeah. Okay. Today we're making the not Cuba Libre 
But yeah. it's kind of it's like Latin cousin, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound like anything in my head. I winged it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't say this in my head ahead of time. What are you talking about? My head was not listening at all. I'm gonna have to see if I can remember to say. Well, you tease something they're familiar with, and then beat switch. That could be our, our superhero team up. Bait and switch. Where was that from? That was from something. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. Was that a Big Bang Theory thing? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> you can be bait, and I'll be switch. You don't like Coke? It's tequila. It's do. a different tasting. But. So we got this. Do you have any red wine? Dan can make a Calamocho. <laughs> do we have to try that? Like, do I have red wine? Coke and red wine? Mm. Yeah, 50 50. Okay, really? so you, you're giving me the uh at that, and you want to drink Coke and red wine. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really <laughs> He's that. tried that. He, he can hurt that because he tried it, yeah. yeah. It's well, not with the lime. Oh, no, it's like, what? Never mind. Oh, it's definitely the lime. <laughs> you don't like the lime? Don't do it. Passing the towel. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not eating him. him. <laughs> <laughs> do you really want to start this, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. I can feel. <laughs> I feel forever. <laughs> At least I'm a stranger hand. <laughs> He's oh. like, let me sit down for a minute. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, I want to sit on the stand for a minute. I oh, I get the tomato juice one. <laughs> <laughs> you like tomato juice? I do. Yeah, that's you true. Drink one Mary's. That's perfect. Yeah, it works. Out. Yeah, it's like a. It's ooh, like no, a not with the orange juice. No, no, I don't. I've tried. Tomato juice, orange juice. I tried this before. <laughs> I've tried this before. You've had this? Yes. Really? It's not very far. Not with you. It. That thing has some. Dude, you might not It's tomato this. juice and orange juice? It has some gum gumption to it. I saw it dripping off the top when you sat down. I was like, yeah, um, you probably haven't had this. Smoking this specific recipe? California Reaper sauce? Yeah. I've had. I'm probably not the, the, I don't I know if I had it with tequila. I, I had a, I've had a orange juice and tomato juice. Smoking out of the, uh, the Reaper guy, right? Yeah. No. Maybe? Smoking Joe? No. Was he the, the, the pepper pepper he's, he's the Pepper X guy, right? Yeah. He's so quick. Pucker Butt, I think it's the company that puts out that. Show full description. What? There's more? Everything mixes in your stomach. Sometimes not so well. Black pepper? Did I put a wet? No, I didn't. Did black pepper over there? So this is like oh, so black pepper? No, probably not. I can get black pepper. Oh my god, and grenadine? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, do we tell you You're loving this. Every, every, oh, other, shit. every ingredient you read, you're loving it more, huh? I mean, I don't mind the tomatoes. I'm telling you, we did. It was like a Bobby Flay recipe. And it was like taking like a mimosa and like a Bloody Mary and kind of jamming it. In a, oh no, it was a tequila sunrise. It was taking a tequila sunrise and a Bloody Mary. Oh. And, well, yeah, that's kind of what you're doing here. Yeah. And Eskimo Eskimo in, in a glass, and it was. <laughs> You're gonna. Pinch. It's got everything you like: tequila and Bloody Mary. Yeah, and orange juice. <laughs> so and wait, you're grenadine? Gonna this? And grenadine? And <laughs> grenadine? That's freaking gross. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Give me a. Uh, wait, what hot sauce do? I need a low, uh, Ian, can you get a Lobo? A million Scoville. Oh, that's awesome. So, I'm gonna. This is gonna rip my butthole open. Yeah. Rip up! Rip open the butthole! Make room for me! I think this should be a three for. I think. I know if you're wearing Liam's shirt. Who said that? Texas. He said, Is Derek wearing his son's shirt? That's awesome. He must have saw our picture of Liam in it. I think this should be all three of us. Oh, they just set it on the the screen. They want all three of us to do it. <laughs> he doesn't care. I love how they're like, oh, 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 weird. Oh, weird. <laughs> oh, it scrolled so fast, oh, you won't see it. Yeah, see, three amigos. Yeah. 
They just say. Oh, hey, see? Mess. They said Eric. Eric wants it. If Eric wants it, you have to oblige. I don't want, I don't want to make the. Uh, the Philip, I, I brought only the million because I didn't want to scare Dan. I have a two million upstairs, but I yeah. Don't do it. Uh, it's gonna be orange juice and fiery shit coming out of my butt. <laughs> There's not, Can we dude, just taste one of these instead? There's not that much orange. You don't have to drink the whole thing. That's never been a requirement. I know. I'm, don't worry. It's, it's simple for you. I'm just whining. I'm just dude, whining. Dude, you're, you're, you're never intimidated by a cocktail. I've just, I've done the tomato juice and orange juice thing. I told you. PTSD. But have you done it one, one ounce of orange juice to one ounce of tomato juice? I don't really know if it makes a difference. I'm just wondering if you yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at least it's not that much, I guess. Yeah, it's not like yeah. a huge volume. All right. There's, All right. There's some good history for this. Well, it's not really history. It's current. But where's <laughs> this? chocolate star is going to burn. It is. Oops, I forgot to stop this. Yeah, got to hit it twice. Once to turn it on, once to actually... Alright, this is gonna be awesome. Just like her. <laughs> it's a, yeah, you gotta push the button twice. Do you record the whole time? Something to shake. Alright, here we go. Alright. Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. Dan and I are. Uh, I'll be Derek. About to make you a treat. Oh! This is gonna be awesome. I'm, it's gonna I'm be good. so looking forward to this. This is called the Vampiro. This was a suggestion um, via Facebook from Samuel. Mm. I did some research, I wrote down some notes. Uh, this is kind of traditional Mexican at this point. Drink. Hmm. You can probably find it there. <laughs> All right. not liking this. Well, well Dan Ponders We're just going to take these two things. And add a bunch of Add some coffee. sweetness. <laughs> and some fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <here's> <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> this is going to be the recipe. Two ounces of Reposado tequila. One ounce of tomato juice. Orange juice. And lime juice. A half ounce of grenadine. Seven drops of hot pepper sauce. I, you know what? We don't have to go seven with this. Just saying. Um, yeah. One pinch of salt, one pinch of pepper. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right now, you like Bloody Marys. I do like Bloody Marys. Do you like tequila? I love tequila. You're in. You're 100. percent I love You're Bloody Marys go. with tequila. But but taking orange juice. You have a problem with orange juice. I have awesome. a problem with orange juice. I don't. I, I like orange juice, but not with tomato juice. I think but you're gonna we'll find see. out. You're gonna love. Well, maybe it. it's gonna be great. Probably not. But you, you, we're gonna find out. As long as we're drinking some almond tequila, yeah. that's probably going to make it's it gonna, better. Almond's going to blow your mind with yeah. this recipe. Now, neither of us have had this. Before we do that, let me get... You're going you, to mm. get a chaser? And that, no, that's the chaser, mm. right? This would be the drink, and that's the chaser. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is really good. You drink the tequila? It's very smooth. And then you chase it. That is... Not harsh at all. You can go to almondayagave.com if you want to check out more on oh, almond. Oh, really good. Um, so, we've been good friends with the Alma folks for years. This is the first time I, I went out and said, hey, we should partner up and do, I'm going to do this tequila month, and they're all in. Um, like, literally, last notice, three days to go before the filming, and I'm like, want to do this? And they, they helped me out and got it done. So, um, that was pretty impressive. They're, they're that, that agile. On top of which, to make good products. On top of which, they have one of everything to represent. So, besides the mixed dough, because that's crap. Um, they've got your Blanco, oh, the Reposado, the, the Añejo, and of course the Extra Añejo, which is kind of more of a special edition, I think, or at least for most brands because it's so old. Um, resting, I, I, I took notes this time because I always get this part wrong. So, Half ounce of grenadine. You're going to need it. Oof. Um, this is, it's so it's going to be like fucking teriyaki sauce with like <laughs> tomato. No, but... I mean, there's no Worcestershire in this one. Yeah, that's true. I, I, there was other ones I had though. Uh, the Blanco. Oh, I'm dying. So the Blanco. I had Mexican that. food for dinner, so this is a no. Hmm. Um, the Blanco is 50 days aged in seven. cask, um, steel, stainless steel. I wouldn't do seven because that's not dashable. No. Uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you got this. One, two. I to drop some. Oh, that's like six. It's a it's a million school bill. Yeah, those three school. Uh, <laughs> That was a big three. Yeah, that's it's gonna be awesome. So, and I love this stuff. This is I'll talk about this in a second after I get through these. Uh, six months for the Reposado, eighteen months for the Añejo, and then five years all in Asian Canadian oak for the extra Añejo. I don't know where you can get this. These ones I know you can get at liquorama.net. You can go to their website and you can click on it to buy. Um, you can also grab more information, but I wrote most of it down. I sc I scanned their website to try and figure out if there's anything cool to talk about. Are you still worried? No, I'm just making sure that I got everything. That's all. It is. We we have. It doesn't look. We, it's not gonna be that bad. We did jump up <laughs> in in recipe creation. So a little bit on the history because this was intriguing. I got the recipe, like I said, from Samuel. I did some research 
and Oscar Hernandez, a 50, uh, 50 years ago, created this recipe at a fruit stand. Fruit stand? Yeah. He's he like, sells I got, fruit. I got some tomatoes. Well, he sells fruit, and he was hot, so he would make a drink, this drink, sort of this drink, for himself, yeah. and he would he would drink it, and people were like, what are you drinking? And he said, oh, the, you know, I made this drink, and he would they would try it, and like, this is really good. So people would keep coming back, so he's like, hey, you know what makes sense? It, whenever my regulars come back, because tourists just keep going through, yeah. when the regulars come back, if they're going to keep asking for these, I'll just keep serving them, and then, you know, keep your repeat business. And then years go by, word travels, and people are showing up just for this drink. So he starts this entire process. Now there's lines of people, like today, like in now times. Yeah. Lines of people line up for this drink on their way through town. So it must be good. And the best part, it's served in a plastic bag. In a plastic we're, bag? We're going to do it in glass because it's legit. Oh, uh, we should do but it in a bag. He, it's a bag with a straw, and you just drink, suck it right out of there. Now this isn't the Look exact, at that. exact recipe. Ooh. Oh, we've done that before. That's the ice. What do mm. we call it? We had a name for that. Uh, ice. The the. I don't know, that I looks. We get we get a couple. Of that looks really <laughs> good. We don't, we, don't we don't remember any of them. Right, Vampiro. Think blood, like a bag of blood. Yeah. Right. Boom. It's not that bad. No. Now there's people online. You find at least three or four different variations. I was going through this. This isn't what Oster does because he creates a sangria, which uh, is kind of like tomato juice and a lot of this stuff kind of built. Mm -hmm. as a separate mixer, then you pour it in with the tequila. Yeah. We just basically combine them together. He also uses squirt in some ratio. Squirt's good. Now you got like a Paloma thing going on. Squirt's, yeah. Right, it's supposed to be refreshing. And this is... Where did the grenadine come from though? He where used did, grenadine. Did. He used grenadine? Yeah. To get the red color, I think. He was like, oh yeah, look at all my fruit. Oh, by the way, I have a bottle of grenadine right here. <laughs> Why not? How is it? make this fruit even sweeter. Oh. It's not hot enough, is it? Uh, no. But it's it, it does it does I think I'm getting dizzy. It does ramp up a little bit. <clears throat> but it's not it's not too bad. It's what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. At first you're like, oh, you know, you get the tomato, but it's you have some little strange sweetness. So and then, then the orange juice kinda hits and the orange juice you and still the tomato stick with juice. The orange juice? Orange yeah, they kinda like they kinda fight each other and then all of a sudden it's a little hot. It would have been, it's if I added true. like a couple more drops, actually it's probably the right spice. It's the right spice for, for most people. Yeah. Um, I could, I, I mean, this doesn't really bother me. This is, I don't even, I think you did pretty good when we made chicken wings. Well, I think we made chicken wings with this at one point. Um, it's got a little bit more of like a, an Asian zing, like it has mm. that. It's got, it's got the right amount of spice. This the has spice more of like good. that ginger, um, Asian flavor to it. Not now, I'm guessing he would probably use Cholula. I think mm -hmm. that's another one of those that has a, like a lot more defined character, not very spicy. Like you lose not to me. So it's uh, it's interesting you, with the just, just be, sweetness. Just because Alma happens to be helping us out here doesn't mean you can't be honest about your opinion. This is not a drink that you like, and you knew it. Well, I already now. drank the tequila by itself, <laughs> so you chased. Which is very good. So the did drink? this meet your expectations? Like I, you went into this going orange juice and tomato juice. I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, it went. It My expectations happen. have definitely lived up. <laughs> I like this. You you would drink that? Probably more. You would drink that whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> but, uh, uh, my bullshit meter just went boop 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you can't drink the whole thing because they need to drink it. I'm not drinking that. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not I like awful. I mean, it's not like. It's no, not it's, awful where like you want to spit it out. It's refreshing. It's basically take a tequila. You're not gonna try Bloody it. Mary. No, I hate tomatoes. Take it, tequila Bloody Mary. Take a tequila Sunrise, which that's what it is. It actually is because you have the yeah. grenadine and you just jam them together. Right, but I'm not a huge fan of a Bloody Mary, but I like a tequila Sunrise. So, hmm, um, I like them both. You just not separate. <laughs> I like them both. Just so it's like a turducken. <laughs> but you don't like pickle ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like fried ice cream. Fried ice cream. I mean, maybe a pregnant woman would like it. That. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, except for the alcohol problem. But do you like it? I don't dislike it. I was expecting to dislike it. When I saw the recipe, I was like, ah, tomato. I don't like a lot of things with tomato juice. But it's not savory. It's it not doesn't savory. have the savory. It's not savory at all. That's the part I, I'm okay with. Because I'm not a big fan of savory cocktails. I don't like to eat cocktails like it's a dinner. I do. Right. 
This to me is just um it's like a tequila it's like a spicy tequila sunrise to me. Like I don't it doesn't bother me. But it's got like the, see, it does I have like a weird tomatoes. tomato sweetness to it. It's like a sweet tomato. It, okay, so you like if you had a sauce, like a, a tomato sauce, do you yeah. like a, a sauce that's more tangy? You don't like the sweet sauces or like a pe pizzas that have the sweet sauces? No, no, no like, I don't see, like sweet sauce. Right, I can tolerate it. Pineapple salsa? No, I like that. That's true, I don't like pineapple salsa. I like pineapple salsa. This is kind of like... See, I like, I like mangoes like and tomatoes together. I'm telling you, it's just... Maybe you need some salt in that. <laughs> probably. I put some in. I think it needs a little bit more spicy, but it does have enough spicy that it's not missing. Like, you can't miss the spice. It's... No, but yeah. But I'm also using a million Scoville Yeah, it's, a, it's a good amount of Yeah, it's a good amount of spice. It could be a little bit spicier, but... Um, but, I mean, then it's just like, oh, I got some, like, weird sweetness in my mouth, and then it, my mouth's hot. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's like, like a roller coaster of flavor. <laughs> Uh, this is made by High River Sauces, so if you've ever watched Hot Ones and they had the scorpion, was it scorpion? Is that the sauce we have? Scorpion? No, what? Isn't it called scorpion? The other, the High River Sauce, it was one of the Hot One sauces at one point. Yeah, I just, Something scorpion. tomato juice and orange juice do not go together for me. I've had a riff on this drink before that I thought was going to be awesome because I like both drinks. No. But, no. You don't have to be the biggest fan, but you should, unlike Jennifer, at least try it. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's not like... I'm it not gonna, is different. I'm not going to spit it out. Like, it's not that bad. Right. Like, if you like the two tastes together, then... I, and you're I not, like And you're not a looks like Jen, and you can actually just taste something for what it is, but... Yeah. Yes, you can. You know what makes this better? <laughs> I don't know. We're all the like other four fingers. <laughs> what makes this better is, is the, that, that nice fat daub of... A uh, reposado you threw in there from Alma. That's what did it. This, the first taste I had, yeah. much better yeah. than the drink. <laughs> <laughs> so you can try either way. You can drink Alma straight just keep, or you can make a vampire. Just keep the orange juice out and uh, the grenadine. I won't tell just, Oscar Hernandez that you don't like his cocktail. Well, I'm sure not everybody likes his cocktail. That's true. Fine, fine. I like him separated. Good enough. We'll separate them next time. It's a fusion. <laughs> Don't yell at me. <laughs> so he didn't like the fusion. Here's a fusion for you. Down below is the bartender surrogate from Monster Drake's, the sidebar, all of our tequila cocktails ever. I have them in order, I hope. I have them in order of release. Of course so if you, you do. start watching, of you're watching this. And then you're watching the. M m Something runs me. That was, then you're that watching was a good one. Tequila Sunrise. <laughs> and then you're watching whatever else I create. So it's all, you know what? I'm taking too much of your time. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. That I only oh, have well, 19 seconds. Yeah, scorpion Pepper Edition. What? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I have that. Dad Scorpion Pepper hard. Edition. No, I have that one. We need to find. That's the one you were thinking of, though. Huh? They have three last dabs now. They have three last dabs. I don't know. The new one is, I think, is even supposed to be higher. Okay. Yeah. Pepper X, maybe. <laughs> Do these two things go together? Yeah. Watch and find out. <laughs> yeah. Really? No. I watched John Mayer. Yeah, I watched that too. Did you watch the John Mayer one? No. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, I saw some of that. I only see it if he's watching it. So I I saw some of last job yet. Damn. No. I, I love that show yeah. just because he's a really good at Yeah, he is. Yeah, like the way he interviews people and people that are on the show, even people I'm not, I wouldn't normally get to yeah. him, he makes the interview really good. Yes, he does. Yeah. Sean Evans from Hot Ones. Oh, he's really good interviewer. He's an excellent yeah. interviewer. Anyone that can still answer questions after eating all that hot sauce is yeah. pretty competitive. Can, can still keep an interview on point yeah. after. <laughs> Well, they lay it out really well, too. Yeah. Because it kind of gets to, okay, now we're going to screw with you a little bit yeah, at the end. And... So you can have a good You should have tried that, Jen. It was really good. Uh, There's yeah, still some left. It looked like it was really good. You Carolina still... Reaper Special Seriously. Edition. You made a stupid drink. You could have done this on camera. <laughs> I'll let you put your finger on it. Oh, no, it's not my drink. <laughs> She's in like... Well, at least now you know for sure. Yeah. Right there. I think that's what I got here from. Oh. Maybe. <clears throat> oh, you want the nice drink? 
It's like Reaper, so it might that, take that some time. That was pretty salty, that drink. Oh, my God. Well, he added salt. Oh, I put a ton of salt in it at the end. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Is it melting your face yet? It's getting there. It's oh, out. there it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, compare it to this one. Yeah, compare <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I already drank that in the drink. <laughs> just stick your tongue out and put a little on it. A little dab. Yeah, just a little. I'll just do a little bit. Yeah. What is this? What am I doing with this? I'm quite I'll send it to you later. <laughs> huh? You gotta rinse it out. Oh. My mouth's all hot now. <laughs> you have to rinse it out. We need that lemon from this video. He's a master delegator. <laughs> We're gonna what? Did you see that? The lemon. What about it? We need it. Okay, it's right here. I know. Just... <laughs> oh, you get this drink? And I got the last one? Damn, you can stand, stand here. Up there with them. There's no ring weapons that you need to be over here. <laughs> oh, all right. I guess I know my place. Up there over <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Uh, it's not that bad to begin with. Oh, is it still going? Yeah. <clears throat> is, it, is it still reaping? Let me taste this. Yeah, that, you know what? That actually will help you because mm. this is uh, yeah, it's alcohol, it's alcohol soluble. So capsaicin. using alcohol yeah. is going to help get rid of that capsaicin. I know it's I know I know it's soluble, but I don't think it helps get rid of it very well. Alcohol it tends should. To, it amplifies it because it like no, because it's burning you. Yeah, yeah, but this is not that strong. You know, oh my god! Yeah, it just made it go down my throat a little bit more. Well, it's going to travel. <laughs> it's going to get down there. Holy Eventually, shit. it'll come out your butthole. Mm. Fat is better because it binds to fat. Mm. Well, it's yeah, good, we don't though. have any fat mm. here. Yeah, there was that alcohol that we bought from Dominican. We bought fat. Me. Yeah, this might help. There you go. Oh no, I just had like a thing of tequila. If I drink <laughs> Irish cream, how much that would be? I have to drink the whole bottle just to sip. <laughs> hey, there we go. Since he's not around. Oh, it sucked. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> My mouth's on fire, my hand hurts, and I look <laughs> out of here. <laughs> it smells good. Did you try it? Yeah, I've tried it. It's good. No, I know I've tried it. It mm. tastes good. It's just hot. If it's cracking you up on egg white. Oh, yep. Mm. Are you licking? Oh, that one. Literally. I was already sweating, so I mean, what? Why, Why stop? <laughs> it just makes your. Tits warm. I can't taste anything. Makes your tits warm. Some tomato juice. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's great coming here and just drinking combinations of shit. <laughs> 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 this is glamorous. I don't know what you're talking about. People, people, like they live for that. Although most. In it's the good cocoa. Mm. All right. And now I'm gonna eat an egg white after this. Well, no, you. Is that what we're doing? Fat there. The egg white. <laughs> the egg white's gonna go into the drink. You're not gonna yeah. eat the egg white. But straight. you can eat the yolk. That's where all the fat is. Okay. So if you want to, that'll help. I'm not going to. <laughs> hey, did J King just donate two dollars? Yeah. He did. Dan got beat for it. Oh, yeah. nice. I already got hit. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we could add. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> ah, shit! Oh, fuck. Dude, that fucking hurt. <laughs> I, I know. I can't help it. It hurts. See, see DJ how much fun uh, that is? Fuck, fuck. It's not fun. <laughs> they shouldn't pick on you, DJ. It's not funny. Rebel, lemon you guys need a little bit of kindness and mindfulness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to make it. You see those? Ah, <laughs> right in the butthole. Right in the butthole. Ah, damn it. Slide whistle slap. Slide whistle slap. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You both have that idea? Oh. That's pretty messed up. You were probably not going to have a, a lemon zest on this one because that lemon is pretty shitty. Yeah. Wow. You only have one lemon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, I got back from vacation not too long ago and I don't. Lemons... That was a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Today. Yeah. So, what the <laughs> fuck have you been doing? Getting lemons or getting limes. Well, you definitely weren't getting lemons. No, I need limes. See, see all those limes up there? Out. Are we going to drink this one? You want to? Yeah, right. after my mouth cools down. Okay, that. Probably not in this drink, though. No, this is the rep all, right? You can't use this in a drink. No. <laughs> they said the wife sacrilege. missed it. So oh, it was... you have to. Sorry, the wife missed it. <laughs> oh, you get, you get it this time. You got to slap Derek now. 
<laughs> you got a slap in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> you didn't get the wet willy one. Well, yeah, yeah, but you know what? My ass is in her from getting whipped. Yeah, but you know, just keep talking, because when he hits you with it, and you're going to be like, oh, it doesn't hurt. Uh, it fucking hurts. <laughs> See? No, we're doing a joke. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean the towel. Yeah. <laughs> the other stuff, that can stay out. Thing out. <laughs> yeah, I can give the other thing out. Yeah. Fuck it. That's what the apron's here for. It's kind of a guard for me. <laughs> it's, still it's a tease for me. Wait, what do I need? I'll put the uh, dry shake. Stop distracting the game. Okay. What do I need? What do I need? We got bitters. Yep. Eggs. Yep. Agave. Yep. Lime juice. Yep. Lemon juice. Yep. yep. Reposado. Uh, yep. What is this thing called? This is called the tequila sour. Tequila sour. It's not called no, the David Ruggieri. No. Wait a minute. We need a glass. True. We need uh, a We need the one that had the Vampiro in it. Or this one. Already Vampiro. That was your favorite drink. Yeah. Drink of the night. <laughs> It was. It was awesome. Loved it. You ready to do this? What's this? Here we go. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. Ian, Dan, and Dara are going to show you how to make a tequila sour. What? That's cool. With an egg white. With an egg white, yeah. You have to. When yeah. you do a Otherwise sour, it's just a margarita. You have to do an egg white. Right. Because, well, because Dan says so. Right. Exactly. So the recipe is going to be an ounce and a half of reposado tequila, three quarters ounce of fresh lemon juice, a That's quarter right. ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarters ounce of agave nectar, three dashes of Corazon bitters, or your favorite bitter, one egg white and a lemon zest garnish, which we're going to opt not to because Derek didn't bind up lemons to have zests that would work. That is a problem. He forgot to get them at the grocery store. Right. So what we're gonna use is we're in his use... defense, he only had a week. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was on vacation, right? I was on right. vacation. Oh, last week. Yeah. 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 I didn't have that a was, chance. That was that's tough. why. That's why I've got this tan. Oh. Now I'm like you. And then you were walking around the grocery store, and you're like, oh, what do I need?" Yeah. And I and I bought a lot of limes. I bought some limes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we will need. So a lot I bought of some mints because we're gonna need it later. Um, so, we're using uh, Reposado from Alma de Agave, so you guys should go to almadeagave.com, check out their story. Um, I have parts of their story, if you've been watching the whole month of tequila, you'll see that they've been partnering with us for the entire month. Uh, this specific recipe is kind of like a, a play on uh, the tequila, I mean a sour in general with tequila, uh, but I often say that a margarita is basically your tequila sour. But this is probably a sour. A, this is probably more traditional speaking a tequila sour if you pretended the margarita didn't exist. Because as you might yeah. have, you'll see throughout the Very entire true. series, the margarita is the last video we're doing. Because that is what everybody thinks of when they think of tequila is a margarita. But that's what it seems like though. Tequila seem to just it's a margarita riff off of other. Cocktails. Right. And most of the general public yeah. just sees margarita. 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 More margarita. So I want to... Or you just drink a straight. Right. Like this. Tequila shots or margarita. Yeah. Uh, we need a glass so you can drink that straight. I do. So how long is this age for? Uh, that is a long time. That's... 49 years, months? 49 months. 49 months. Here's another... Is this, this clean? Yeah. Pour some in there. I'll have, pour some in there. Have a finger of that. All right. Well, he's making a drink. Yeah. I'll well, drink a you drink. Gotta, you got to start with something. Exactly. Um, yeah, so that is an extra in Yeho. If you watch our video, let me see if my fingers are right. If you watch our video on seven tequila facts, one of the facts is that there's five categories of tequila. Four of them are represented here. One of them isn't because it's a 51% tequila that's not what I'd call a real tequila. It's the crap stuff that you can get for $7.99. Mm. Ooh, that's not good. 799. That's eight. That is friends. not. Oh, duh. So that you, is super smooth, a little smoky. Yeah. Mm. You've got a, a, a pina. You've got the, the agave that takes eight years to mature. You've got 49 months in a barrel. You've got. I told you to keep it over there. <laughs> oh, oh, you're. I'm like, what are you trying to do? It's like double strain. Double strain. Uh, so this specific recipe. Since I didn't get into the specifics, is you're going to add all the components with ice into a shaker. There's a video on how to shake. Um, mm. And from there, you start with your dry nice. shake, right? The dry, that's all messy now. The beauty of a dry shake, in especially this cocktail, is to get the foam emulsification. So you're taking that egg white and you're building a crazy foam, which is going to give you that white looking mm. feel. 
You have any ice in there? No, it's no. insane. Put ice in there. Yeah. That's would, okay. You don't strain. put an ice in a sour? Some double strain. Uh, ice. it depends. Yeah, I, if I, you put it in a coupe, you don't put ice in it. Add ice Sometimes there's one. Second. Double strain into rocks glass and add three dots of bitters and foamy head. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have You're to. You're making a mess. Yeah, but that's that's how these drinks typically go. Yeah. They can get messy. You'll see it starts to turn kind of like that, I don't know, yellowish color with a nice white, white, yeah. nice white foam. Got a good head on that one. A little separation. Got to get that. Almost. Yeah, the, these the dasher from the Corazon bitters. It's not easy to make uh, oh. patterns or things out of, but it works. Um, that no, no, yes. right there is your tequila sour. It's more mature. It's a little bit cooler than uh, a, mar a margarita, which this is what everybody thinks. Did you try that? I have before. Yeah, oh, that's good. This Dude, these Corazon bitters kill it on the top. Like you get that aroma. Oh, this drink's holy good. Crap. The foam in this drink's good. I know that. <laughs> Did I drink the bitters? I don't think you did. Mm. It's good, huh? I almost it's really like a good. cinnamon note to it or something. Mm. It's the bitters. Well, you, get this, you get this. You get the aroma of the bitters the on the top. No, but you can you can it's taste a little it. Little spiciness from mm. the bitters too. How is weird that the bitters are making that big of a. Uh, impact on the foam. I guess the foam's going in your mouth, so you're getting well, you're smelling it. Well, there's yeah. bitters in the drink, also. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, whoops. No, you, that's that's I. You did it the way I would do it. I fucked it up because I threw three dashes of Corazon bitters into the drink. In the drink. Which? Oh, wait. What? <laughs> this is confusing because it says three dashes of Corazon bitters in the recipe, yeah. and then it says put it three I, on the top. Put three on the top. Yeah, but I would rather do it what you just did. Yeah, I like three it. inside. Oh, add all butt bitters. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that's. And bad. he was like, "What kind of bitters are butt bitters?" <laughs> <laughs> like that's gross. And why would you want to put all of the butt bitters? <laughs> yeah, why would you want to put all of the butt bitters? In? I mean, what kind of no, bar like, makes us? That, that's that's an idea, but <laughs> that's better. If you want butt bitters, why would you only want partial? I know. I guess you're gonna put all the butt bitters in. <laughs> it's really good though with the bitters. I yeah, like it with those the some big butt bitters. <laughs> big butt bitters? No, it's are got your that, big butt bitters better than? It's got that like little moldy flavor, like that cacao butter or whatever. Corazon bitters are good. Yeah, that's a good bitter. It's a good drink. It's yeah. good. You're I may have fucked it up, but I like it. No, no. I, I'm, I'm going to make sure that when I put it into the cocktail database at recipe.awesomedrinks.com that it will have the way you did it because that's better. It's really good. It's smooth. This is a recipe that I, I pulled because I was going to do the craft cocktail series for tequila. And then I said, you know what? was working with tiki, tiki Month. Why don't we do that with tequila? So instead, I did like a build-up process where each of these recipes is actually getting a little bit more complex as we go. Until we get the margarita because I put that at the end symbolically. But margaritas are always good. Yeah. Right, but... We haven't, we haven't done it for a long time, but I also wanted to showcase other stuff because tequila could do so much other stuff. Mm. The only thing that's missing from this month is the Paloma, and we did that like two months ago. And, and Palomas are I think fantastic. we did like a couple months ago. Yeah, um, Paloma's like a gin and tonic. Yeah. It's easy, refreshing, summertime drink. Right, and you could screw those up all day long, and they always are fine. You yeah. Know, a squirt or whatever, and yeah. fresca, whatever, and you got yourself tequila, you're good. This is a little bit more complicated. Um, ice or no ice, I don't think it's not going to really make a huge big big difference. It's just going to, it might break the surface. It's already of the, chilled, that's also. It. Yeah, so mm. the, um, the drink is not lasting long enough. Again, it might be. When it comes to a the, flip, I kind of like not putting the ice because I like that unbroken head right, on the, top. The perfect. Yeah. The, yeah, that, that's true. And, and typically when we do these, we usually do them in coupe glasses, but this volume was bigger. You might be able to fit it in one yeah. of those big coupe glasses, but. You can put one big cube in. Yeah, do whatever you want, as long as you do the recipe the way he did it, and you use yourself some almond tequila. I think you should try it with the Anejo. Yeah. Because I think it might make it a little bit richer. Maybe, yeah. It's got the nice dry flavor, sure each little, cinnamon. You could probably make tequila. it with each tequila and have a different experience. Lime. Obviously. Definitely. This is better than a margarita. Like, it's got, I mean, it, it feels like a different mood. It's definitely a different mood than a margarita. But yeah, if you're sitting out on the porch, I mean, it's like a whiskey sour. Like, if you're sitting yeah. out on a porch... Like during the day, you want a margarita. Yeah. If you're, and then now and then it's you evening and you're still sitting there. You, know, <laughs> you haven't moved yet. You haven't really moved, but you're drinking. You have a lot. someone else making drinks for you. Uh, yeah, because you're gonna have this. We're definitely going to try that tomorrow. Yeah. See, so, and then you move right into here. Yeah. You know, now you go from party to sophisticated adult. 
that's messed up. I'm not sure I'm enjoying the whole sophisticated adult concept, but well, your pants aren't on still. Oh, okay, I mean fun. those those came off yeah. at like eleven when you started. <laughs> when you get a suntan all over yeah. your body. <laughs> so like, well, I'm at eleven right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing Woo. that apron's there. <laughs> anyway, so what you guys want to do? It's like a like wall of shame. On it, <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to? You want to check out? I all look the down. <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> do, do you need a towel? No. Here, take it out of here. It's right there. It's easy for you to reach. He's, no, it's not. I'm not doing it. Go I'm check out. It. <laughs> speaking of penis jokes, check out Alma Tequila. Um, it's you not a go, joke. You can. You know what you can do? You, you can search for buy Alma Tequila. I did that. Oh, oh and there's no such and thing as butt bitters, so don't look for those. Oh, yeah, that's not a <laughs> yeah. Cor Corazon means heart in Spanish, not butt. Yeah. Right. So these, you can get at Austin Drinks. Those you can Gulo. search for the that's best store to buy them at. Gulo. Butt bitters you can't get at all. Gulo. I wouldn't Gulo. Google that. Is it, is it just a good general? Yes. Uh, coupon code is Cinco18. If you want to save 18% off AwesomeDrinks.com when you want to go buy those specific bitters so that you can build this drink. So you go out, you buy yourself some ama. You go out, you buy yourself some... Corazon bitters from monsterdrinks.com. Agave and we do sell that, but you can probably get that anyway. Make this drink and taste along with us. You should. You don't have to use the word butt bitters all the time like we did. No. But it's you can fun. Let's build it and then taste along. It's like a challenge. It's like a game. Yeah. Go do it. Now, there's a sidebar that just popped up on the side. Hence the word sidebar. Tequila cocktails are in there. You should start washing them all and educate yourself. It's not just about a margarita, my friends. Which is not drink. Butt bitters. <laughs> no, I wouldn't drink butt bitters. So is John gonna, uh, John. I'm thinking Ramos Gin Fizz. That should be Dan's next drink. John, uh -huh. <laughs> you can make the Ramos Gin Fizz. Yeah. It's still, that's a lot of work. And yeah. it has gin. It is Besides gin. that. <gasps> a te a, a, a tequila Gin Fizz? Tequila Gin Ramos Fizz. Ramos sounds tequila. kind of amazing. He does. Hernandez Gin Fizz. Well, Ramos you can't say gin. gin. Oh, Ramos. Right. Ramos Fizz. fizz. Ramos Fizz. Yeah, Ramos Fizz. Blanco Fizz. Bla Blanco Fizz. Fizz. It would be a Blanco Fizz. Blanco's? Because you wouldn't want to use the... That's Blanco true. Fizz. Hey, Blanco Fizz. Blanco Fizz. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we just got yelled at. Yeah. That's what the producer's there for. Keep us on track. Yeah, she's yeah. Good job, Jen. <laughs> she's got a bit of... I'm glad you found the rest of your fingers. <laughs> What? Only for you. Where were they? <laughs> and why did we miss? They all fell away. All there was only one left. Oh, 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 oh. He's right. back at 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> See? He's covering. It scared me. Very scared me. Scared me. Here we go. Today we're going to take what could be party, but we're going to peel it back into sophistication. With a little foam. I like foam. It's good. Foam can be sophisticated and unsophisticated. Right. Very true. If you put it on your crotch. Not when you put bitters on it. If it comes out of your crotch. Yeah. Mm, yeah, Ooh, if it comes out of your crotch, you might have rabies. I, I don't think your crotch falls when you have rabies. I think that's syphilis. Yeah, might have um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Nobody does. That's great. <laughs> Nobody does. That's good. Yeah, that one's Nobody good. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Bitters. Not my mouth, it's finally. I'm getting to the right now. This is such a hard name, I say. Oh! oh! Okay, that was different. I'm the asshole. So I'm far, you guys are getting it for rooms. free. Two ah. ounces of tequila, Campari. Oh, see. Like it's right up your alley. Oh, nobody so needs first. that either. I'll do the pinky. Pinky out? Pinky out. Pinky Ooh, Campari. Look at my CMC shirt. See, I represented tonight. You represented better than I did. I represented. I'm apparently wearing a Liam shirt. <laughs> wearing my shirt? No, Liam. You're, Liam. you're Ian. <laughs> Sounds the same, different words. It's got an L in front of it. La 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 la. And an M in La 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 la. Blah 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 blah. What? <laughs> I know that's but all you The problem is I just couldn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finger. See what the last one is. Nice CMC t shirt. Oh. oh, I'm on this screen. Oh, well, that I was like, what are you looking at? I'm looking at where it says agave What are you syrup. looking at? I'm looking at you putting that right down for this recipe is what I'm looking at. What are you looking at? Do you like this stuff? You like the jungle, bro. You like a Negroni, right? I do. So it's just me? So I'm the only one I have to worry about? I do. I like the Negroni. Oh, but see? Yeah, so this so is... I'm bringing a little orange juice and tomato juice. <laughs> oh, what are you afraid of, Dan? Well, I'm not afraid of it being bitter. I know that. <laughs> smells like wet dog. It smells like or sounds like? No. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like it. 
sounds like it just said it smells like wet, wet dog. You got that rock video going, nope. Jennifer? No. You need a rock sauce. You got it going now? Right here. Oh, this had to kill it. Got it going now. Got it going now. While you're down there, you want to uh... <laughs> open your mouth? <laughs> Wash that glass because you might have got a gem. You are a sick fucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is who we answer to. Yeah. Yes. Who's Who's like, like, this is who Derek answers don't to. Don't pretend you. Who's <laughs> like. Oh, you guys move on and stop talking. Just get this video done. And then I'm going to talk about men on men blowjobs. All I said is open your mouth. I didn't say anything about what I know. Going in it. Go. I was going to pour some tequila in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tequila shots to my belly button. Some it didn't need like a full description. <laughs> I, I just put I just tequila. said men on men blowjobs. That's not a description. In That's a subtitle. Sauce yeah. <laughs> That's a fucking movie line. Ah, shit. Ow. Oh, that was my fucking finger. I can't, I can't hit Derek. Yeah, no, see, I just you mean, know it hurts. No, I just missed it. I kept missing. Oh, it. He hit me. You know it hurts. <laughs> this is a build in, right? Party. This is build in. Oh, what? Build in, right? Two parts tequila, one part Capari, one part sweet vermouth. Half part of agave syrup is poured over ice in a rocks glass uh, and garnished with slices of lime. Capari. I drank a whole glass of Capari. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do we mix it and then pour it over? Ice and ice 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 uh, ice. Uh, no, I think you just build over ice, right? It doesn't yeah. say build in. Though. No, there's no, there's no need because if you're, if you're pouring the syrup over the ice, which is weird to begin with, there's no point in mixing it because the rest of it's just gonna mix anyway. Yeah, that's what we should. I'll buy that. All right, we're building ice. You started that, right? Here we go. Welcome to Gone Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. Today, we are going to be making... Oh, crap. What's this called? We're going to be making... Tequiliano. How, how do you say it? Tequiliano? Tequiliano. Tequiliano. The Tequiliano. It's like an Italian tequila and a drink. True. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Based on what I'm seeing. So, first off, I'm going to just tell you right now that Rick Holly is the executive producer for this episode down below. Um, he has combined, over the course of his, like, four years of support, $670 lifetime. So, what do we want to use? Do we want to use the Blanco for this one? We haven't used Blanco yet, right? Did you no, we didn't. The answer is all my tequila sold nationally? All my tequila sold is nationally all over the U.S.? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Unless they're so in a different exactly. country. If they're from a different country, then no, nationally means something else. Yeah. True. That's true. Um, what was I going to say about Rick? Oh, yeah. So, if, if you guys haven't donated on patreon.com slash cmc, Rick has been carrying you. So, it's time for you to help Rick out and, and help, us out. help carry the weight. Help Rick, Rick help us. Right. Just like Alma's doing. Alma has partnered with us for this episode for this month, all tequila. Um, this time, because we haven't represented Alma in the Blanco category yet, uh, this was represented by Dan drinking it straight um, as a, sh a shooter or something in the last episode. Uh, we're going to use Blanco for this. He was sitting. I'll give him a benefit of that. Yeah, go with that. Um, the Blanco's aged, what did I say, four weeks? Let me see. I'm always confused on the aging. 50 days. Four weeks. Is that 50 days? No. No. That's like close. seven weeks. Really? All right. Um, so they they basically age in 50 days. Gives it a little... They help soften some of the, the vibrancy, bring out some of the fruit flavors. Um, you also may find that there's... I don't know. It's, it's got that nice salty, fruity... I don't know. That, that, that nice tequila agave bite. Oh, there you it's go. aggressive. What? Celebratory round. Celebratory round? Oh, what? Nice scroll. What are you talking about? You don't see the donation? No. Hold on. Well, you have a donation, trust me. <laughs> All right, my screen's frozen. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, normally that pops up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at your YouTube. Your YouTube's blown up. Hold on. Turn off airplay. Speak of Dr. Mayo. <laughs> this is a Negroni with tequila, basically. A Negroni with tequila and agave syrup. Negroni? Oh, yeah. So, so the build process is you just build hey, it in the glass, we... and then you add the... Uh, what is that up on my screen? You add the uh, syrup over the top of the ice. Is that what we did? Is that how that plays yes. out? So you're not going to mix it? But, it's, uh, but I did. You didn't what? I mixed a little bit. Oh, yeah, but you didn't shake it. No, no, no. I just gave it a little stir with a knife. I, I'm sure that's not going to yeah, damage his like, reputation. Like, mm. Before he gets to the there's like four of those. <laughs> yeah, but it's Canadian! It's oh, it's four. Why do they get harder? Because they do. <laughs> they do. 
<laughs> he, why is it twenty and ninety nine cents? Is that a Canadian thing? I, I like it. I like it. I think it's good. Maybe it's an exchange rate thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably. Exchange rate. If it's not, I like the specificity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not gonna lie. Well, she, it's almost that good. <laughs> All right. This is a custom made drink from Eddie Buckingham from Eddie Buckingham's bar. There's no real history behind this. Um, it's kind of a new design. I kind of look at it as kind of like a, there is already a tequila, uh, what's that drink you like, Negroni? Like if there's a tequila Negroni, this isn't exactly a Negroni because it's not equal parts of everything. It's got a agave There's a lot more tequila, it. yeah. Um, right, it's more tequila forward. However, at the same time, the tequila is playing, a, for me, playing in the back. The, the Campari is yeah. in the front. The Campari, the com uh, Carpano Antico are very powerful flavors. Yeah. And, they're in the, and the Blanco tends to be the more muted of the three when it comes to flavor. Yeah, but it's also so, the, it usually cuts, it's it's brighter. Like it's, the other ones are rounded yeah. and, and softer, it, right? It's there. It's just not in the front of your palate. It's right. in the back. This is the first, uh, wow, my hand really hurts. This is the first, <laughs> the first cocktail of the month <laughs> in which the tequila is not as pronounced. Right. This is like a, a bitter, it's not, a, it's, maybe it's just I've changed a little bit. It's not as bitter as I would have, would have expected. Well, there's also some sweetness from the agave. Maybe, so, yeah. So, I, I like mean, it. not only is the bitter more diluted because there's a lower percentage of that Campari in the drink, but there's also more sweet in there because of that. I also get a little bit like of a grapefruit note, but I don't, I don't know if that's just a bitterness, maybe. It might be from the Campari, I'm not sure. Maybe mm -hmm. it's growing on you. You're coming around. I mean, take it's, a swig, see if it. Like, it it's no, <laughs> it's still a, a bitter drink. Like, don't get me wrong, this has still got uh, some level of bitterness to it. It's just not as in, intense. Maybe it's just because the, I like tequila. Maybe it's because there's mm. just a lot of other things going on here that it's not as pronounced. It's more tequila than there is Campari. Yes. Uh, there's no doubt though that, that I would know there's Campari in here the minute I taste it. Like, oh, yeah, of course, that's very Campari. Distinct flavor. Yeah. Or you know there's Campari or there's a Campari equivalent. That's true. Because yeah. there are some others that taste like similar. Like the, I have uh, yet to, I mean, what's the closest? I Maybe... I mean, uh, we don't do this as much, uh, so I start forgetting. Maybe names, Nonino? Ch Chinar or Aperol or yeah, something. Yeah, but no, Chinar. A different taste. I mean, Aperol's got the sweeter the, flavor. The Chinar is Aperol. Aperol's definitely isn't this no, Aperol, Aperol Aperol's like my go-to. Yeah. If I needed something that was like, Picard, uh, was like Campari, I would go Aperol. Um, it probably, there's no doubt, maybe we've already made a tequila drink. We've made mezcal drinks with, with um, uh, Aperol. Hmm. But you could probably do something like this or replace it with Aperol. It would just be a sweeter drink. Yeah. Might leave off the uh, agave nectar. I'll give it a little less, less bitterness. This is a slow drink. This is one Dan had asked me earlier in the week, month, for you guys. Uh, could I drink the entire Vampiro? Not a problem. This is a problem. It's just, it's that. <laughs> he was like, I got that. It would just take me a long time. This is like, a, this is an all night drinker. Oh, like, open. all night. Is. is that why it's so humid in here? Oh my God. I didn't know why. I, sweat. I thought you opened it. I thought I opened it. I didn't open it, but it was open, so I just left it there. Oh, 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 okay. I can shut that. Uh, so, that, my friends, is the Tequiliano. This is a very funny name. Um, Thank you, Alma, for helping us out with this this month. We've got more videos to go. If you want to ch check out Alma, you can go to almadeagave.com. Um, check out their story. You can also watch all the videos that, the, that we've had all month using Alma. Everyone's going to be slightly different. There's a different cocktail literally for everybody, and that's not going to change because we have a cocktail based off of a Mai Tai coming. We have the margarita. So stay tuned for more of those. More to come. Sidebar to see all the videos we've done so far and every other video that's ever been put into the tequila playlist. There's a lot of them. So months of time. I may have space. Did you mention the promo code for the month, Cinco 18? I did not mention Cinco yeah. 18. It popped up earlier because I don't I listen to you the whole time, it. so that's why I yeah. What? Everybody listens to me the whole time. <laughs> Cinco 18, awesomedrinks.com. That's your promo code. Save 18% off your order until June 1st, 2018. Good call. We're teaching you how to drink. We did it. Yeah. Oh, wait, we gotta do a pro lead in, right? Go ahead. Okay. If you're like me and you're a fan of a grony, you may enjoy this drink if you're also a fan of tequila. If you're neither of those, you might want to skip. <laughs> Never skip. Never skip, yeah. Never skip. I should have said skip, skip making. <laughs> watch the video. <laughs>
Just don't watch any of our videos. <laughs> if you don't like Campari, unsubscribe. I keep forgetting to tell people to subscribe. Too many tasks. Tag. Look at that. Oh! oh. 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 You're going to have to practice. I think you hit the bar. That's what the sound was. <laughs> you, you're gonna you, don't have to go, you don't have to go hard. You can go light and it's all going to snap. There oh, you that go. Was good. Did that hurt? That no. was good. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to heart so hard. You can do a, you know, a good whip with a nice. I'm trying to find the hotel. <laughs> yeah. You just what you gotta do is you gotta go home and just start hitting Jalitha over and over until she <laughs> oh, finally yeah, screams. That'll, that'll and then you're like, that's the one I need. That is the feeling I need to get when I hit. Him. Oh, Jen, did you try this? I did. It's not bitter at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bitter at all. And quote. Not too bad, but. It's nothing I would drink. It's super good. It's. Did you try it? I did. When did that happen? Like I think I'm getting used to them. Yeah. So it's not as bad. I still couldn't drink it all. Uh, I probably I would drink this over the. Really? Damn shit oh. <laughs> really? Buzz meter? Oh yeah. Zero. This is a buzz meter. What's the buzz? Five being buzzed. Zero. I had a really big dinner. I can't even keep it like together. Oh, maybe a one. I had a lot of shots of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a shot of each he's, one. He's predicting he's going to be at yeah. least a one. I'm in here for something. Oh, where's your hat? Liam, drink that. Why? Because. <laughs> I'm not looking at drink. I've given you a command. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Is there a safe word? He doesn't give me one. <laughs> Do you have orange liqueur? Almost. Hmm? Do you have orange liqueur? Oh, cool. I have. I'm, just to, I'm thinking in advance. Where was that? Uh, what's the face? What the hell do you call it? I don't know. What do you call it? Oh, okay. Triple Hmm. Yeah. yeah. You, that, I mean, that works fine. It's yeah, we just want to go polishing through that tomorrow night. I can grab some. I gotta grab some stuff. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can polish through it. <laughs> you have the face like I don't want to polish through it. How's that go for you? Who's got the shit house? Nobody. Huh? What are we making? Reposado, Blanco. Oh, yeah. Orange liqueur. Where's that? Shake and Dump. Oh, yeah, I can see it now, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Pinky Gonzalez. This one actually looks pretty good. Into an old fashioned. It's my tie, dude. Oh, me. Spent line. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're going to put the line. You're going to. Oh, we're going to have to cut a line for this. Does he actually go down? What do you mean? Because you have to you put the spent line in and drink. It just says three quarter fresh lime juice. Yeah. yeah. Is this like like a three hour car ride? Yeah. But he's he'll go down there and he'll he'll check in on the guys and then he'll sell a couple and yeah. He'll, he'll go do notes on stuff. So he, he's not just going down. The yeah. Thing. Yeah, he had to go get a line. What? Oh, we got a line right there. He's giving him advice. How one so high here? To do it, you can. You have to start near the beginning. You can't be religious after a while. Derek, did you put Brianna's salad in the refrigerator? Yeah. Okay. I didn't want her to get. Whatever you get when you don't have a salad. Botulism. Botulism. There's a lot of things you can come up with. Botulism wasn't on the top of my list. Nicola? Somebody posted a pic. Ah! That felt good. Somebody posted a pic. I'm trying to fucking say something. I don't hear it. I said someone posted a pic on the Facebook page. Of what? I don't know. Diana posted it. You did? Dang it, posted it? Diana. Oh. 
Diana. Diana posted it. What are we doing with the... So, we're going to need a spent water. <laughs> are you going to bring mint tomorrow? Do you want me to bring mint tomorrow? Do you have mint? You have a garden, don't you? No, but the mint's mint. not coming out yet. Nothing's coming out yet. You have a garden yet. It's like just during summer. Yeah. No, there's no garden yet. <laughs> Hopefully it goes back to spring. I can bring that. Right. I know. Last night was hot as shit. It was hot. So what you're going to do is we're going to put this in here like this. That's what I know. It's part of the recipe. Okay. That's how you're supposed to actually make a Mai Tai. Well, and we just used the... I could have squeezed a lime in there. But I just squeezed it into the lime reservoir. With my bare hands. Uh, why do you have bare hands? Because he's strong like that. That's strong right. like bull? Strong like bull. That's a bunch of bull. You need a shot, Dan. I know. I already took a bunch. Or three, lol. Lol. Do you know? Maybe that is a lol. Ruffle lol. mouth. Yeah, the lol just does it. Lol. Lol. You ready for this? Hold on. You good now? Think about it. Ready. All right. Hold on. <laughs> good. <laughs> Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. Dan and I, I being Derek, are going to make you a cocktail. This is called the Pinky Gonzalez. And what a better name. I don't know. What? No. There is no better name. Exactly. You want to know why? Why? Because this, I don't really know why. This is... Come this on. Is, give um, me something. This is a Mai Tai meets uh, tequila. So... It's, it's like a, an Asian Mexican fusion. It's a 1972 recipe from Trader Vic. See, people talk about my ties from Trader Vic, but they never talk about the Pinky Gonzalez. Why but not? it's a thing, and it's existed for a long time. Well, let's we're going to show everybody how to do it. Let's do it. All right. So the recipe is going to be one ounce of reposado tequila, one ounce of blanco tequila. <gasps> it's a combo. It's a combo. Double combo. It's um, like dark and light rum. It's like holy shit. It is. It's it's like oh. I yeah, never would have thought of that. It's like um, when my time... Maybe once. It's like, I usually don't drink much. Wait a minute. Let, let me start over because I totally just went you side sidetracked. everything up. One ounce of episode of tequila, one ounce of black of tequila, three quarters ounce of fresh lime juice, one half ounce fresh... Oh, I can't fresh. Orange liqueur, a half ounce of orgeat. That's an almond syrup. Popular seen in the Mai Tai. The difference between this and a Mai Tai would be instead of using a one-in-one -one where you have one ounce of Martinique rum, and which is a French rum, and one ounce of... Whatever other island, I think it's Jamaican. You're just bringing in an aged, slightly aged Reposado tequila. Here's a video on some of the ages, and a younger Blanco tequila. So the Blanco yep. tequila is going to bring that young, fruity vibrancy that's that just going to rip your face off. And the Reposado is bringing a little bit more mature, round around the edges. Still, sometimes yells at people and goes in the pool naked. But has a but little with bit more style. maturity. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't just jump in the pool. Well, you jump in the pool. Casually with... walks into the pool. Right. Or they, they go in there with the American Eagle shirt, but they take the pants off. Yeah. Right now. You can't open that, can you? Then you're usually afraid to show your boobies when you do that. Yeah, I got it. My, my boobies? You oh, when you leave your shirt on. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But for a guy? Yeah, um, you're afraid oh, to show your boobies. Oh, because they might be boobs? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Moves. Yeah. Moves. Moves. Yeah, I don't. I don't have to deal with. You that. want a question of the day? I would love more than anything a question of the day. What question. is your best side? What is your best side? The side that you're looking at. Yeah, probably that one. <laughs> <laughs> I would show you, but the fucking bar's in the way. Yeah. Come on, pick me up, Derek. No. I, I, I <laughs> no. I don't want to hurt my back before you party. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. All um, right. So we got the orja. I got to do lime. So. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the instructions on how we're going to do this. It's a shake and dump. So you're going to put all the ingredients into a cocktail shaker with ice. You're going to shake that up, and then you're going to dump the entire thing, all the chipped up broken ice and all, maybe top it off a little bit more ice if you really need to, right into your low ball glass. You're going to add a spent line that you use to squeeze this onto the top with a little mint garnish. Boom. That's it. That is how you make the Pinky Gonzalez. Now, let's talk a little bit about both the recipe and the brand. So... Alma is our tequila, it's the, what did I say, the Kalamea Cocktails official, no, the official tequila of Kalamea Cocktails. Uh, we partnered with Alma so we can create an entire month for you guys of tequila-based cocktails. Run in the gamut of some of the ages. We've got a tequila sunrise we've done that has Añejo in it. We've got this, which has a combo. Plenty of other drinks that have used a different variety of the tequilas, which makes for an awesome time. Always. 
Uh, so your Blanco is aged 50 days, your Reposado is aged six months. There was something I really, I, I thought was kind of interesting when I was reading about this on their website. Uh, you can go to liquoramen.net, by the way, if you want to pick it up. It says, ice filter to stabilize the alcohol for smooth, crisp profile. Oxygenated for 12 hours to release any harsh oh, look at uh, that aroma. Oh, that's really See sexy. That? That, that looks sexy. Over here. That looks sexy pretty good right here. Boom. Uh, so, I've, not that I've ever distilled anything, but one of the things that happens when it comes off of a still is for the first couple days, it's really bright and like, yeah. mm, it's a little bit over the top. They let this rest for 12 hours to kind of breathe. Mm -hmm. Breathing is important when you distill something because that gets rid of all the stuff that's not necessarily the best leaving you with just the perfect product, which has a nice aroma. You had this one. It's very smooth. Has a good aroma. Very smooth. Although it's, it's been a little smoky. Yeah. 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 You I can, want you... Alma to make a mezcal. And I want um, him to send it to me, because that would be freaking awesome. But it's a really, it's not like a mezcal. No. Smoky. It's like yeah, a barrel, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aged smoke. Yeah, because the, uh, the smokiness. Don't put it in a cocktail. No, I wouldn't put it Drink it by itself. I would put it in a cocktail because I have the bottle, but most people yeah. shouldn't do that. No. It's like $120 a bottle. You shouldn't do bottle. that. It's very good. <laughs> you ready for that? I was ready. It's like tiki time. Tiki? <laughs> mm. You got the thing going on. You got the, you got the sip. Mm, it's you, good. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the lime. It's got the lime. It's a little sweetness, but not too much sweetness. A lot like the Tequila Sunrise, which is too sweet. Well, not too sweet, but sweet, because it's got orange juice and grenadine. This has the lime playing in and the tequila play. It's kind of like a margarita. It's kind of like a margarita with orange on. Yeah, with orange. Which yeah. is probably what... It, I, now, m my guess is Trader Vic probably knew that and built... Uh, took a margarita... I'm, I don't know how popular margarita it was in the 70s. I'm not old enough to know that because I wasn't drinking age. Was, I'm sure it was pretty popular. I mean, it's lime, yeah, so, sugar, yeah. And tequila. Yeah, so the, I'm sure he took the margarita. And went, how can I put this in my tiki bar and make it awesome? Anytime you add a shot to something, it makes everything awesome. Like, yeah. that's like the key component for like, if you want something to just go tiki, boom, oh, boom, done. You know it what? It doesn't point. have that tiki, like, bitterness to it. Mm. The, yeah, that's the overpowering rum. It's yeah. because the rum is so, like, ex extreme. Yeah. These, this, for what, I don't know why, it's the same, 40 ABV, 40 ABV, it's the same. But it doesn't have the same, I don't like that, that punch in the face you get. There's no the punch in the face with this. There, you, no, there's no. It, I almost feel almost too mature. Like, I feel like. It I, almost feels like you just sip it down, which is a. Uh, issue. Yeah, because it might not feel like it's punching your face, but it's hitting you just as hard in the mm. liver. Versus a, a standard Mai Tai. No, my liver can take it. Oh, I would also. I've trained it. It's seasoned. We're yeah, freaking it's, pro here. It's like, pff, this is nothing. Now this... You right, just drink tomato juice and orange juice. No, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's still, more your stomach than you, your liver. So yeah. <laughs> you, still, you still remember the Vampiro? Mm. Here's the Vampiro. Uh, can you glass, it's awesome. You, you should watch, watch it. It's I drank really it. It's fine. really good. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, <laughs> This is, you could get this in, it's documented Trader Vic's 1972 Bartender's Guide using uh, Trader Vic's Mai Tai Mix. I'm going to say pass on that. Like, not a big fan of using Mai Tai Mix, just do it this way. Yeah, no, you don't want to use Mai like, Tai Mix. That's just... If like, anything, go to AwesomeRigs.com. Oh, yeah, totally. Get some more shot. Yeah. Like, Sing make it for team. real. This is missing something, though. What? I don't know. It's missing something. It's. What do you want it to have? It's got all the same things as a Mai Tai would have. Maybe not as much or shot. But it's different. Rum's different. Rum's... Mm -hmm. It's not a bad drink. It's just kind of plain. It's like a margarita with almond. It's a margarita without any sour... Like, the sour definitely doesn't come through. Like, there's, there's so no tartness that... to it. There's... We have... It's weird, because it's balanced pretty damn close. Like I mean, it's good. Hours, it's... It's not a bad three drink. It's just like quarters. I don't know. Maybe because we maybe it's so balanced that you're not getting the intriguing flavor from one of the two. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you get the tequila. You get the tequila. You get the. But I mean, off. if you've had a margarita, this is like a margarita with a little bit of almond. I would rather have a little bit more almond, but I feel like it's gonna make it sweeter. It's missing chips and salsa. Oh. Mm. That's what Eric said. Maybe it's missing salt, <laughs> like some kind of like salt. Maybe. 
Then it's a margarita. The salt pulls out other flavors. I know. But then it's like a margarita, I feel like. No? I mean, have you ever seen a salt on a tiki? I don't know. I mean, on a tiki rink? No. Maybe it needs a float of, like, something high proof. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's great. I just don't... I agree. There, you no, no, I do mean, something. I think it's a really good You know what I would drink? like it to have? I just... Bitters. You see, bitters, it, it, spice. Like I, because maybe it's because it's tequila, yes. right? But I can see that having a little fiery spice to it. Hellfire bitters. Yeah, fire water. Fire water, hellfire bitters. You're, you're not getting like the saltiness water. from the tequila you usually get. Like right. it's maybe that's it's, the thing. It's, it's getting just, like overplayed by like the orja. It's the on that. Stuff. It's like here's tiki and here's a margarita or that category of mm. stuff, and this is in between. So you're at that point yearning to go in one of the two directions. Yeah. And you're right in the middle. Uh, this is a I guess because you're, you're tasting it. Maybe because I'm tasting it and I'm thinking I'm going to taste something else. Yeah, I think I just like spice. It's a, it's a good drink. It's definitely summertime. It's hot out. Now. It's really good. If you replaced. Yeah, this is, this is a refreshing drink with anything. You can almost put seltzer in that and make it bubbly. <laughs> Here's the problem. <laughs> if this is considered. I'm killing a, them right now. If, if this is a refreshing drink. <laughs> yes. It's still two ounces of alcohol in this tiny little thing. You do three of these, you're going to be falling down. Wow. A normal person. Yeah, normal person. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking <laughs> yeah. all of our general audience would be falling down. I, I, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a stronger drink. It's, it's, it's strong. It doesn't taste strong. So I'm saying. It doesn't but taste strong at all. Free. Now, if you took out the tequila and put scotch in there, that's called a honey honey. And I don't want to make that because it's not that big of a I just want scotch. some money money. Yeah. I just want some more tequila. <laughs> <laughs> just like tequila on the side with those, like a little tequila sidecar. Hmm. No, yeah, I, I would if you make this at home, create this so you could taste along, but also make one with some firewater bitters like Scrappies or Bitterman's Mole bitters or uh, Corazon bitters from Bitter Cube. I think bitters in there would make it. It, it just doesn't pop. Yeah. It's, it's just. Fun. I mean, it's a good drink. I think it's that you're you're feeling like it's going to the margarita territory, and you want you want the heat. You want it to bring yeah, the fire. Yeah, I want a little pop. I want a little tartness or something. That's the problem part. I have with margarita. Is it? It's right in the middle. We'll see because we'll be making one soon. That, yeah, that's true. It depends. Yeah, and and it's got a good blend of. Uh, I like the fact that it used both tequilas because mm. that never gets done. And it's good. It's not harsh. No, <laughs> oh, it's not harsh at all. Scr- yeah, you're going to drink like three of those and you're going to be like, oh, oh my man. God, it's so hot. I got to go to the bathroom. Let me take this shirt down. off. And so and then pants. <laughs> and you're in the pool. And we're back where we start. we're back where we start. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're drinking tomato juice and orange juice. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's how you make the Pinky Gonzalez. Make the Pinky Gonzalez. Make every drink you've made thus far. And you try and figure out which is the best. You well, have to try it and comment on it. I'll leave a comment below. Come on. It's 80 proof, the tequila, the yeah. Alma. Yep. 40% yeah. alcohol. Yeah, like it, your standard tequila levels. Yep. Uh, let's see. We're good. Down below, you can check out and buy, if you'd like to, the starter kit if you want to start making cocktails today. Well, like in a, a couple professional? Days. Yeah. Like I, Dan has a starter kit because I keep bringing stuff kit. all around yeah, leaving it there. great. He just keeps taking I got all sorts of stuff. He's got tons of shakers and stuff. He's got my glasses. Sidebar, some tequila cocktails. I don't know, 200 or so. Whatever. Something. Something to start with. <laughs> you got to try a bunch of different ones to understand what you actually like. And then make it again. Exactly. And become a pro. And then when you start drinking, making your own, you'll understand flavor profiles. Like these. Yes. Ready? We're teaching you how to drink. So Yummy. <laughs> hey, you guys want to drink this? Not until you lead in. Okay, yeah. not until we... Okay, you got, you you have some sort of. Th- <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're waiting for me to start something so you can jump in, aren't you? That's what you're doing. Never. You're writing an engine Never. whatever I say. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What's this thing called? What? Is it a drink? Pinky yeah. Gonzalez. All right. <laughs> Today we're gonna be making for you. The Pinky Gonzalez. It contains this yep. and this. That's a lot of tequila. Tell me you don't want to watch this video. I don't want to watch this video. Come here and take a sip. <laughs> you'll, be all, you'll be all over that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be drinking that. It's, you'll be it's drinking that. something. Come taste it. It's, it's you'll be. No. You'll like it. It doesn't taste like a vampiro. 
Yeah, it is kind of plain. It's like it's good, like it's, but it's right. It's missing something. It's missing like a like a kick, like a. I think the problem is, is like you drink this. And oh my drink, god, I don't want to drink that. You drink this and then you drink that. And I want to go back to that. It's no, it's not bad, yeah. it's just meh. It doesn't really, uh... Well, you gotta finish oh, it. Because I gotta drink this one, so you gotta finish that one. Don't... When did this become a thing? It's just... always been a thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't play coy. Like, oh, oh, I went on vacation and I forgot the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where? <laughs> Now there are rules, <laughs> and you shall obey. That yeah, needs like bitterness. Mm. Fire? Well, we'll make a margarita and see. I think this is gonna be sweet. Is this the last one? Yeah. Oh, get up here. <laughs> well, let's no. Let's do. Let's do one with blanco, and let's do one with reposado. You're a ma you're a machine. Hey. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't see his face, so I don't know if he's just like flipping me off or what he's doing back there. We don't need to know that he's coming. You know, you fell asleep. So I'll just keep everybody for you. <laughs> uh, Jen can come in too. Yeah, Jen doesn't have one yet. Okay. Yeah. It's a long walk. I understand you can't. I can't. It's too hard. There's not enough room up there. We can taste it. <laughs> so we have to. We should taste test all of them together. After. Combine. No, after. not combine. One of each. <laughs> Damn it. That'll be a special live stream. Bubba Gump. <laughs> See, they're calling for you. No, we should make three. Are we talking about one within it. Uh, well, margaritas. Also? Yeah. There's three of you, so you can each mix one. Exactly. We could make a fourth with this. It's like the so Jen we're back. <laughs> it's like this oh, look at that! It's too, too bad it's not. You can't mix with that. That's way too good. But we can try because it's for the Jen. It's for the show. It's, it's for the greater I good. I thought you were a team player. But... Uh, why, huh? <laughs> see, everyone comments. Doesn't everyone want to see Jen come up and and help us make a drink? No. And if everybody says yes, then I think she's gonna have to. Right? No. Let's get the chant going in the chat. Have to yeah, do let's get the chant. Jen, Jen, Jen. Get Jen. I have to do it. Shit, shit. <laughs> Did he go get ice? Behind the scenes. Oh, I can't drink that. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, you have to finish that. I'm drinking this. Well, I will. <laughs> I'll drink the margarita. Yeah. Alright. What are we making with oh we're, with this? Weird. We're making the same drink, but we're not. Really. <laughs> Alright, should we do low ball? Three low balls? I think that's what's out there, right? Did Derek just grab a couple? Oh. You're so observant. I'm just here. Yeah, I'm just fired. <laughs> <laughs> it started raining. Look at look at all the people calling for Jennifer. Don't you think your mom should come up and make a drink with us? Yes, go. <gasps> no. Why? See? No. Why? Uh, cuz. Okay, sir. <laughs> Welcome back to America. <laughs> I need to reduce. We need one more low ball. We're gonna do three. I'll do it. You want this? Well, who's drinking this? Yeah. Well, you no, gotta start that the producing tough. early. You gotta start the producing yeah, young. Yeah. Oh, for Jen! No, Look at. Oh, oh, that, oh! You just got two hours uh, and six Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do high five with Ian. You have to come oh, do no. a high five. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you can, oh, okay. Careful of the junk. <laughs> careful. We think I'm aiming for it. It's fun. Just go up there. Have some fun. So, just show me what All right, Thor. So <laughs> oh, oh, I was like right in that baby oh, fat. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting for that good one to happen. Uh, uh, shit. I don't. You know that agave nectar stuck right to the bottom. Yeah, it does that. 
Like Are you coming? Like you just got... $2.69. Yeah. <laughs> 69 Imagine if you Get kept... It? If you did more videos, how much money you could make? Because you're making money not even being on the video right yeah. now. Yeah. Wow. What? Yep. I'm producing. Uh, you need to get out of my producing area for these. Oh, yeah. If I don't have enough room to butt swing, I got like PS I need a butt swing. Yeah, I'm going to sit down. No, this whole, this whole area. Are these, these washed? Are these? What? Uh, I don't know. But I don't know. I just three. Three. That one, that one is. This one we need more shakers, right? We need one more. They can deal. Just one One more top. One more top. Here, you got to be the fluorescent one. Actually, we need a whole other separate jet. Yeah. Are we doing four? Yes. There's no room for four people up there. I can squeeze. <laughs> we, we've done it before. Yeah. Too. Oh, you gotta come! You gotta come stand next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that wasn't in the deal. Yeah. Oh, Joe! Oh. Stop making Derek mad, okay? Yeah. <laughs> now we need four. <laughs> Great. So because now we're gonna make it with this. Right. Well, you want me to do that one? That old one? Or are we going from here? Oh my God! That's on my calves. I need one of I, these. Did you get that that salad? I can't. Balls. <laughs> no, no, you, you did. That was good. <laughs> you did. I can't, I can't have you a say anything. I, I saw mom nodding. Wait, that's mine. Wait a minute, we need one more. I know, I'm trying to count, but he's too busy you being. Just need mine, a mine. You need a glass or a tin. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, 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 um, I don't have this. <laughs> She's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> whatever. You can't catch lightning in a bottle. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I don't use those kind of shakers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a cobbler shaker, really? No. Here, you have to use that one. Oh, but I already got a good one. Oh, then we, got, then we have enough. Oh, we do? Yeah. One, then we have enough. Two, three, four. Yeah. I just got a kitty way to go by someone. I thought I had enough, but I didn't know why huh. that was. Way to go, Bree. I need to catch up. I've been drinking the drinks. You just haven't seen me. Shut she up, needs to drink a little more. Shut up. All right. Everybody got a glass? No, we gotta need one more. Yes, De Derek's got this. Oh. No, we need one more low ball. Oh. All right. Wait, you're putting margaritas in my glasses? I'm producing margaritas. You're not putting them in margarita glasses? No. So, oh, all right. Derek, Jen, me, and Ian. Wait, what's me? Oh, we don't need um, this. Shit, we need one of those. What do you need? Yes, yeah, so he said Derek, Jen, me, and you. So you're that one. We're in order. What are you looking for? Wait. Derek, J Jen, me, you, Ian, Dan, Mom, Dad. Yeah. Here's a OXO. Oh, it's slammed. Right, you like OXO? Did you use an OXO, house. Ian? <laughs> I'll use an OXO. Uh, do you got enough now? I got, I got a Japanese jigger. One more. But that's all I got. This is. Mine. We should have two Japanese mine. mine. No, we mine. have one. It's a dance house. Oh, you left our it's Japanese mine jigger at dance house? <laughs> it's mine oh, now. Oh, <laughs> Eric just gave you a plug to your store. But it's on my channel, so it's... Everybody knows about it already. It's a good point. But somebody does the Twitter, Twitter postings. I'm just sitting until you guys start. Is it, Phil, is it Philip that does the Twitter Please. postings? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was just out partying, and by partying I mean sitting in a living room, but eating you come Alfredo down and playing. Belly up to the bar. Jupy's mom makes it al dante. Like some of them are like raw stuff. I like al dante. Hers yeah. are like crunchy on some of them. Yeah. I was like, mom like this. You like that? <laughs> I do. I like she like that's I made her dance one day. Damn. Soggy. She was. Sick. I don't like soggy. Damn. Yeah. Soggy. She was sick once, and I made her dinner. I. Made her dinner, pasta, sauce, pasta. The meat sauce, everything, cooked it all while she sat, right? And she complained about the noodles being too soggy. When they weren't because even that soggy. Because she got distracted on her phone. She wasn't cooking. They weren't even that soggy. They were soggy. They weren't. I hate soggy noodles. <laughs> Take notes, Derek. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sweet. Don't go there, Jim. Don't mine? go there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You have a fly. Mine? What? Thanks. <laughs> Did you swap them? You did. You swapped him. I just stole. I need a jigger. All right, we got jigger. Mom. Oh. 
Yeah. All right. I'm doing this I one. I didn't ask you to stop. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing stop. that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boss man. Let's do this. Oh my God. This is going to be so chaotic. Why? All right. Why? It's just one more person. <laughs> yeah. Jen's here. Jen knows what she's doing. Yeah. Somewhat. I've seen her do a blow jump shot. <laughs> I like how you continued that yeah. sentence. <laughs> I, I thank you for continuing that sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> My in, I'm, I'm in frame. Yep. Yeah, you're in. You better be in because you're the one talking uh, about it. You gotta hit. Is it oh, on? Yeah. Now hit it again. There's a red dot. Yep. Yep. I think it's a furry. I don't know why. Did you say furry? Yeah. All right. I shave, so it's not mine. I don't want to smell it. Smell it. <laughs> I don't want to smell your finger. finger. All right. It smells like fish. You shave your fingers? Oh, no, shit. No, they're furry, though. Bert. But it's like, I have a couple the, bottles of those. From this. It's an empty bottle of these from... Oh, that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's linty. Yeah, it's linty. From being in the dryer. Yeah, Dan, yeah. Dan had a problem with fur on his fingers when we yes. were playing with hot sauce. I have fur sauce. on my finger. <laughs> Ready? It's good for the stranger. Absolutely. Don't wipe your fur on me. All right. There you go. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. Okay, we're gonna start this. That's Ian, Dan, Jennifer. I'm gonna make more cards. Yeah. Derek. Can I, can I do it to no, you can't. It's, it's password. Password. You yeah. can't pass it down pass the line. Telephone. <laughs> Today we're going to make phone. the margarita. We haven't done this in like many years. 2012, I think, was the last time. With all the different tequilas. Good producer With over everything. there. Everything. Right. So we're gonna create a. We're gonna create four. We're four of us, right? Four margaritas. All using four different varieties of Alma de Agave tequila. Going down the line in age, Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, and I'm, of course, Extra Añejo, the <laughs> oldest of them all. Who's older? Old. Dan. Dan. I'm old. Oh, you're older than everybody. I'm older than everybody. He's older than I thought we were doing tequilas in the right age. Oh, no. Need an ounce of As, uh, no, I'd have to definitely be at the end of the line. So, ironically, don't try this at home because I am really <laughs> I'm creating I'm creating a margarita with a hundred and twenty dollar bottle of tequila. Well we're gonna see how good it tastes. Yeah. We're, we're gonna see we're gonna if it see makes if it tastes any different any difference at all. Oh you have I'm gonna need some oh lime juice coming it's down. It's coming. The line. It's coming down the it's train. Coming. And then uh, well, I've uh, got my tequila done. Triple sex coming. Tequila's in. Triple sec. And then you got it. Well. See this is very no. Henry Ford would be this. proud of us. See? Yes. That's an assembly line reference it is. for you people. Assembly line reference, first what time for us that ever happened. Three quarter, three quarter, really or English. three quarters agave. Yeah. Um, you can check them out at Alma de Agave. Dot com because they are our they're the official. What am I making? This is the three official. Quarter. Do you mind agave, Ian? It's not like honey. The agave official tequila. It dissolves bad. Of common man cocktails. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't think it's this yeah. Oh! What's going on Splashed. over there? Does that mean? Let's do a little bit. Hold on. You move over. I'm going to try it. We're not going to salt the rim. Because that's a lot of work. Are we straining these or are we just pouring? I say we just dump it. So we're, we're just going to dump it because we we're doing a lot. We can shake and dump. I just need ice. Shake and dump. Shake, shake and dump. We can shake and dump. Oh, this is horrible. What is this? Nice. Oh, Jen gets on the show and nothing's good enough. <laughs> just to just to let you know. Whatever, you got a good shake on your deal, so. <laughs> just because you have to use the floor at some point. That's right. <laughs> well, you're the party starter. <laughs> no, I see. I complained about things, but he got a better shaker out of the deal. He got a tin. You don't have a tin? No, at his house. You have a tin? At his house! <laughs> There's a tin. I at can't my hear because you shake it. <laughs> oh, that is really cold. Yep. It keeps re sticking. Yep. Do you need someone to show you how to do that? Nope. Just, just saying. Just you know that she got know. published into the, yeah. the Moscow Mule oh, official I know. recipe book, right? I only mess with her when I can. <laughs> she She's the me. only one of us that's been published. Although I didn't make it into a magazine. I think it's funny that we use progressively more ice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys are ice stingers. 
Ice dingers. <laughs> we are ice wow. dingers. What is that? <laughs> That's like the slide whistle suck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a new totally. point phrase. It's, it's a common totally. main cocktail point phrase. I'm going to guess that we probably had enough time yeah, for that suck photo. turned into the slide whistle suck. Here, we'll all right. here. All right. So, are, what so are we we're all going to start with the Blanco and move up. Yeah, let's yes. move. Let's the, do that. The, the increasingly less right. stingy Blanco. Okay. <laughs> what, what, All right, sir. You think I just you can stop acting out his He doesn't want to be stingy. No, okay. You go first. That's the one. <sighs> Alcohol kills Jeremy. That right? is Alma Blanco, aged 50 days. So, it's a light. Uh, it's clear. It's mm. aged in probably steel casks, uh, where all the others are mm. aged in Canadian oak. So, this is Good. going to be. Your typical margarita flavor, I believe. Probably bright, vibrant, fruity. Yep. Yeah. Tasty. Refreshing. You see the color. Very tasty. Yeah. Yep. A little sweet. A lot of sweet. You like sweet or sour in your margarita? Some people like it. The, um, I think you, it may be a little sweet. So I had That's a note, a sweet. which I put in here. Uh, I don't know why. I think we have some notes from the producer. <laughs> Someone's nope. asking which one's the most expensive. The one on the left. The, mine is yeah, the most right. expensive at $120. Both of them are expensive. Right. Yeah. These are probably all within 30 I don't have the prices on hand, which is ironic considering. But That's um, actually really good. These should go like the, in the 30s to maybe 40s, and this goes jumps right up to 120 The but, Reposado goes with a lot. See, that's better. Yeah. The I like Reposado, that better. Six usually months, with a margarita at Reposado sometime... Yeah, I like, a, I like a Reposado on a margarita. It gives it more character. Six months aged in Canadian oak. You get the oak you get in the your Canadian. margarita. Mm. <laughs> totally the Canadian. Okay. I was just about to say that must Ooh, it's be Canadian. Bit more, it's got a little like bit a little more bit of bite, goose. a little bit more zing to it. It's got the, the geese boops. <laughs> in the moose. Boops. In the meeses. I'm a geese. Hmm. I like the boops. I don't think I went through the extra recipe. <laughs> what was that? You remember that? Rob Here's... was on that. There was like a, go a blog by like a goose. Yes, it's like, I'm, really? I'm, a, I'm a geese and I like to poop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the comic, but yeah. Mm. Um, so the recipe is two ounces of Blanco or Reposado or apparently any type of tequila. Yeah, One ounce sweet. of fresh lime juice, three quarter ounce of yeah, agave nectar, three quarter ounce of orange liqueur. Salt. I think it's heavy on the agave, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah you can tone back the agave. I thought I put that in here, but apparently I left it out. But I don't know. Does this taste any Well, it's because the orange liquor is also uh, sweet. Yeah. Right. So the orange liquor is sweet. It's much of a, sweet. I think it's so more of an ounce and a half of a sweet deeper. to an ounce of sour. Right. So the sweet sour balance is off a little bit on these. Which yeah, I, I think which, I actually like this. Better. This is my recipe, and I did you that like specifically. Uh, this is the Carmen Man Margarita. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just no, saying no. I think that's the, why it tends to right. come out a little sweet. And the reason I did that is because it was designed for the average drinker as opposed to us. So a lot of people who, if you're not exactly 100% into cocktails, I having a little better. bit sweeter yeah. usually is a good intro. As mm. people get more oh, mature, totally. they go more sour, and then even eventually bitter. Definitely. So this should be a little bit more common man versus more of an intro level. Yeah, part. this actually almost makes it taste sweeter. Yeah, I it does. A, I think it actually almost the makes it, the okay. anejo makes kind of it like taste the rebel those. one so far. Yeah, that's yeah. what I, I liked it better too. This is yeah, it's got a little bit. This is a little bit. Taste that one again. It makes it taste like a little sweeter. This is on my tongue. It's on my tongue. Oh yeah, yeah it's right there. Oh, Although, shit. I, I, wait, I, Dan wants to taste. I couldn't believe you could see all three on there. Interesting. I don't know. That feels like it has a little bit more. Do you want some salt? <laughs> that was you, a sweat. You want to chase that shit? <laughs> mm. That's supposed to be to you. Rate, so. the, rate the wrongness, one to ten. <laughs> <laughs> but don't stop watching, yeah. even though I we know you can't. Ironically, I'd only have to give that a seven. I think we've done worse. Oh. So for this. On camera or? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, probably. I think you're talking about the Margarita. I think for this one. For the good tequila, I'd want to cut the sweetness back so the tequila comes out a little bit more. Oh, yeah. That would make sense. Aged 49 months. Can you shake it with pubes? <laughs> so, 50 mm. days. That just crushed the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it did. Like, Six it months. My favorite until then. 18 months. 49 months. You want to know why? You, if you t I mean, you've obviously tasted that. Mm. It's so smooth and... It doesn't need a Like, cocktail. it definitely gets killed by the... Oh, yeah. But it definitely doesn't yeah, go by the agave. Yeah, it Yeah. No, but you know what? If you're a, you're a high roller, this is perfect. It's lost, though. You know, like it's it's Ian was saying, if you, you should cut back. Yeah, like a high roller. You don't care what it tastes like. You just want to spend a lot on it. This would be a very expensive margarita. Oh, We're yes. talking, what, $25, $30 margarita for, for something with this in it? Oh, definitely. But so, it's, 
I don't I don't like it as a margarita because it's a waste and you don't get those tequila flavors. Either. Oh, so I know. The problem is you need a strong tequila to kind of in a margarita. This has a little you bit need, more need, of a caramel flavor to it, I think. Well, it's super smooth and it's yeah. really good. That's yeah. why you can drink it by itself. It, yeah, but okay. So are you but you are you saying that this doesn't taste any different? I think no. this does taste different. Oh, it definitely gets, tastes different. Yeah, but I think it actually gets lost. I, I still like, like the the repo and the blanco. I just I like think that it still best. tastes different than oh, all the Oh, it tastes others. different, yes. Mm. Just not different enough to value a hundred and twenty dollar version versus a like no. a forty or thirty eight dollar. It, it's a waste of that tequila. It is. I mean it's not think, saying it's bad, but it's right. lost compared it to the others. Lost. And which is why the other ones have more taste, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why this works for us because we don't care. Um, we're drinking because we can and we don't have to pay for it. If you were to Buy a hundred twenty dollar <laughs> bottle of tequila with this nice heavy freaking cap, right? Like this is not this is a sipping, maybe a little bit of water or ice, and you're done. But you're not paying for the cap. Well, you're paying Some for the cap, paying. but maybe you're not paying one hundred twenty dollars for the cap. Oh the no, the but quality like, of the tequila it's a great is very but it's, good. No, but it's like taking a really good a, whiskey and making a whiskey sour. Right. I mean, it's, it's got a freaking. <laughs> <laughs> or taking a scotch. They all have it's got a channel. It. It. It's got a channel. They all have like. A, Ribs on these things to guide them, so they can pour it. Yeah. Right. You know what? There's actually there's a lot of cava in all of these. Right. They're all. They're I sweet. think the reposado yeah. makes the best drink. Yeah. With, yeah. with at this at these proportions, the reposado. Yes. Right. I think that. I think you'd cut back the for agave us at some point at our so, our yeah. our yeah. experience level. You cut back the agave by a half ounce, which I thought I put in the instructions. Two half mm. Yeah, two half ounce. Uh, oh, no, if this is too sweet, remove agave nectar and push your orange. Oh yeah, you can do that too. You can just remove the agave nectar altogether and push the orange. The I mean, I would say half ounce. Of agave I like the nectar. agave nectar. Work your way back down so you find the flavor. Of the yeah, orange yeah. Pudding. But if if it's like like when we serve this to Jen's mother, she's like, oh, it's too sweet. So I usually just kick back the agave mm. or just remove it altogether and yeah. just use orange liqueur. That makes sense. Um, in some recipes you, don't use agave. You need a little balance. You need you need some sweetness in there for the right. balance. Yeah. And you yeah. may, depending on the orange liqueur you use, you may get that. If you're using a That's senior true. curacao's, it right. tends to be a little more alcohol heavy. Right. Yeah. yeah you're, you're probably going to need the agave right. to balance it. But if you're using like the uh, would we use the Cointreau? Yeah. Yeah. No. What, what do we use? Oh, we no, use Luxardo. 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 Triple oh, Luxardo. Yeah, Luxardo. Yeah. Luxardo. Yeah. That's still that pretty. Little, it still has a bit of sweetness in there. But. No, the, yeah. And most yeah. of the fours are good. These are going to be a little sweet. This is 39%. So it's... Oh, so that's up to But if you use like Cointreau, it's definitely different. Yeah. Like it, it it's going to be a little zestier, yeah, than like too. like a triple sack. A Cointreau has that zesty... If you use an arrow yeah. triple sack. Like, if you use it, yeah. <laughs> if you don't need any sweetness. If you're using a $9 bottle of triple sack, skip all agave because you just basically got a Sprite. So don't do that. Uh, I would go with a higher end product. Unless you're serving it to people who don't know anything about margaritas, you can serve them whatever they want. They're not going to care. They're just like, oh, freight, tequila, yay. Margaritas, yay. Yeah, um, I mean, that's so, why you don't waste your good stuff. That's why, yeah, you give yeah. them the Blanco. So yeah. when we take all the Alma products together, I think, I mean, does the Reposado seem like the, what we'd all kind of fall in line It's with? mine, yeah. It's definitely more of a sophisticated, we can say slightly. a more slightly sophisticated margarita. Yeah. They but do this all is actually taste really good. Yeah. Oh this yeah, is so they're really all good. good. Yeah. yeah, for you bump up three dollars, you get the taste of this. Boy, whatever. I, I can drink either. They're slightly different. I mean, they are. They are all yeah. different. So yeah. you're all gonna have like different uh, palates. So some people right. may not enjoy repos because they don't like the the, the oak. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Some people might not like like the oak. And yeah. for some people, like it, it may yeah. be lost. You know, the the difference between the uh, the blanco and the uh, reposado may be lost for some people who. Or just getting into drinking. Oh, you won't. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And you won't even know what the hell this for, is. For some people, it's like, you know, different vodkas in the Greyhound. It doesn't make a lick of difference. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But the difference is, no matter how experienced you are, you're still gonna be like, it doesn't make a lick of difference when you're dealing with vodka. <laughs> it's okay. It tastes like grapefruit. Yeah. It doesn't taste I mean, like grapefruit. Yeah. Something's weird. Like when we use carrots or some shit, like some Avocado sweet potato vodka. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. These all make a difference. I just think everybody I kind of falls in line. Carrot thing, but. Yeah. You, want to, <laughs> if it tastes like carrots, you, do it wrong. <laughs> you can make you can make a vodka out of carrots, says Derek. Says, says Derek. Derek. If Derek says there's a lot of sugar carrots. Carrots have yeah. a lot of sugar. You should be able to do it. Yeah. Jennifer's made an entire recipe book that had carrot in it. Not it's entire, okay. just a few. Can I just expect? Yes, you can. Good. You can exaggerate. <laughs> yeah. so there you go. is lost on this. Jen's got a book about carrots. <laughs> if you want to see it. Go to common man cocktail slash carrots. <laughs> it's homecocktailmenu.com. If you want to see something else, go to common man cocktails slash carrot brothers. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's different. That's something, yeah. Just, that's totally different. Don't Google that straight up. Because no. What the crap is happening? 
There's also an alias Snowman Knows, but... <laughs> yeah, no, ooh, yeah. Don't go there. That one, yeah, you had, definitely have to be over 25. <laughs> it's Dirty Sanchez-esque, but not yeah. so bad. Yeah. 25, oh okay. yeah. 25. Fucking 25. Here, listen, here's oh. what we got. He gets gets off. Letter Don't you like when he gets all frustrated? <laughs> it never does, because he's always like, I got that. <laughs> Hold on. I just lost control. Dude, One more thing. Up? Look up there, look down there, subscribe. Look over there, you What's know. What's favorite vegetable? Cinco 18. <laughs> Should I say carrots here? No, say whatever you want. I'm just curious. My favorite vegetable? Favorite vegetable. I don't know. Stumped them. Garlic. Yeah, garlic. That's a root, right? The garlic is a... What's your favorite like vegetable? The garlic's like, not a vegetable. I kind of like corn. corn. I kind of like corn. Yeah, I can't think of a garlic sex move, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you corn and you couldn't go up with me. Shut up. Corn I can. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, fine. Corn. I yeah. said corn. A little corn cob pipe. A little corn cob pipe. A corn cob pipe with a slide whistle. With a button nose. Slide whistle. <laughs> with a little slide, slide whistle, whistle suck. suck. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff I was going to say. It's all gone. Um, what you can do is go to Alma Day. It's all over Day. the floor where your cards are. <laughs> Just go over there, go up here. You know. Alma Day Tequila. That's shooting her load. Dot com. <laughs> Check out the brand that's sponsors for the entire month. It's like Nobody else has ever done that. Mm. So that's that's kind of special that is there. That's pretty good, though. Uh, now you have Margaritas what? updated I because I haven't done this in years. I'm thinking something else. <laughs> Still you're talking. A sick <laughs> hey, you like it. If you like your sweet margaritas, go with this recipe. <laughs> Otherwise, tone back your agave nectar. Do as you wish. <laughs> tone it back a bit. See? The more experience, the more toning back you do. Yeah. Sidebar has two videos. One's going to have all tequila in it. I don't remember what the other one's going to have. Down below is the bartender starter kit at awesomedrace.com. You can use the coupon code that showed up earlier. Garlic salt in the Vampiro. <laughs> we could have put garlic salt in the Vampiro. They isn't were asking like, before the show, how could this possibly get chaotic? Isn't that something that, like, but vampires don't like garlic. Yeah, they don't exactly. like garlic. Yeah. Called the totally vampiro killer. What if you drink it and you're just like, Argh. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, don't listen lead to us. Lead in. Jen gets to do the lead in. No. Yeah. Lead in. Now you can do it. Okay. Go ahead. All right. What? All right. Oh, oh, we're, right. <laughs> we're all staring at you. Which tequila did you do? Blanco. I did Reposado. How could four people get out of control? Just watch, and you'll find out. You get out of control. And Derek's even quiet. Don's a jerk. <laughs> That's true. Don's a jerk. <laughs> and Don's a jerk. <laughs> An asshole. <laughs> like picking corn from a turd. I've heard that. Okay, picking corn. Everyone from drink oh. together. We just did. All right, All right. everyone take everyone a drink. drink your Cheers. Drink. Pick up your drink. Oh, it doesn't work like beer. <laughs> no. Yeah, it makes it a Yes. Is this free supposed to be on? Come play. Mm -hmm. It'll shut off. Slurpy, slurpy. Oh, that's all right. That's fine. Hopefully. Right. Hopefully. That's enough aproning for today. Either way. Yeah. Do you say vaping? Aproning. Oh. <laughs> I've aproned it's, enough. It's not your word. What's <laughs> Jewel? Enough. I don't even know what Jewel is. Jewel's a band. A uh, person. No. I didn't do that. Jewel. Isn't she what? famous? Oh, Jewel is a vape pen. Yeah, no, I don't vape. No. If you don't vape, you should probably vape. No, no he doesn't suck on dicks either. So. Yeah. <laughs> that, see, Thank so you. I thought that you two were related. I know, I saw that. Is. I don't know Who? why. I think Diana said yeah. is this Jen guy? and Dan related. Okay, they so, kind of look alike. So he's Asian. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jen's Asian. French. We're cousins. Yeah, yeah. we're cousins. <laughs> yeah. I don't see the similarities. Same drinking level. Hey, he, Brianna he, has slanty eyes, so maybe she gets her slanty eyes. I look quite Asian. <laughs> see, she's got slanty eyes. Yeah, see? It could be related. Oh. I've got hooded slanty eyes. The hooded is from him. Your slanty eyes are more than his. Me. Yeah, your eyes slant more than his. Oh, yeah, you're Chinese. <laughs> wow, thanks. You so know vegetables. what that means? That means you can deal with the snow and the sand better. Than even him. What? Because she's Asian? Yes. Yes. That's why they But I don't know if I'm Asian. Dana? I know I'm German. Asian? Diana. The, the, didn't you, you never did research? Could have been the drinks talking. Did I do research on what? Slaney you thought Slaney. Dan was black? No. Yeah, it's like <laughs> It's my. It's just him. My contrast is I thought he was black. <laughs> you guys have a very similar contrast, though. Look at Yeah. Right. Yeah, black. That's true. Just black. Oh, oh, yeah. No, but I'm more tan now. Yeah, that's the only. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, this yeah is, but look at that's what I used to be, and that's this, what I am this now. This is my winter color. I know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Look, 
This is my winter color. <laughs> you get more darker red. than you. And you were in Mexico. I'm darker. <laughs> Look at Ian's good. We weren't in Mexico. Ian's good. I don't need yeah, we were yeah, you I don't count. You're the I don't go outside. Yeah, you, <laughs> but you get all of See, the yeah. vampire drink was made for you. Yeah. <laughs> what What are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what, are you? Yes. what do you think I am? I'm a kind of. <laughs> what are you even talking yeah. about? <laughs> no, what's your heritage? I'm from Maine. <laughs> <laughs> that says it all. That says it all. <laughs> He's from L.L. He's Irish. <laughs> How about a bunch of shit? He's so Irish. Irish. You have all your Italian in there. Uh, so that's my grandfather. My grandfather was Welsh. My we could be brothers. Are, like, no. French Canadian. No. Uh, my what? grandmother was no. from the same country I'm as his grandfather. Wait, like wait. Chinese your mom was adopted, so hmm? we don't know half of our. No, but I think she's English. I'm a lot of English. There's a Mother's Day sale for like twenty percent off the twenty three Me test, so they can find out what her month is. But I just want to do it to find out what I am. You know. Great. And then they trace back all the killers. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Really yeah. Like, yeah. 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 As long as you don't murder anybody. That's how they cool. call that guy. That's how they find out the Golden State Killer. Someone. Oh, really? Just don't do that. It's from, it. from the D. It's from the yeah. uh, it's, uh, uh, one of 23 the sites. and Me or whatever. Well, no. Well, it was a public one where like you can go to 23 and Me and get your results and yeah. you can post them to find like family and stuff. They went on that site and found his family. What if you and then, come and then found him? Yeah. <laughs> Trey asked if you, what if you were black? Like, what, what if, if I was black? Then he wouldn't be white. Be careful answering black? this. Trey's black. Oh, Trey's black. You There's black. There's nothing wrong Trey's with that. Black. Then Lincoln's wife would like him. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's right. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> no, he might like us more. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she would like, like us more. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> she already likes Dan. That's yeah. true. And and Dan. That's because I like computers. Wouldn't wouldn't you be considered yellow, Dan? Yeah. yeah, I'm like. I don't like, know what that means. No, like, yeah. I have a yellow. Because in the skin summer tone, he looks like a uh, foundation, I have a yellow <laughs> undertone. Fun fact. Well, you're gonna have to figure out if you're Asian or not. See, I think I'm. And so Asian. Asian, we're gonna have to figure out. CFC color means nothing. I'm not. So what is your dad? Or race. Yeah, my dad is uh, French. Eric, can I be oh, Star Wars? Okay. My mom's Taiwanese. Maybe we need to do that. If we do the test, then we'll know what we are, and then she will know what she is. No, I. Well, no, I won't know what I am because I could be. You would be. I'm a little Mongolian. I know, but I want to know my exact percentages. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know how much I'm percentage I'm a little bit related to Genghis Khan. Yeah, but if you know what I am, <laughs> then I know that I'm going to go to the Mongolians. Come knock it down. Goddamn Mongolians. Goddamn Mongolians. I knock it down the wall. If she's 5% German and I'm 30% German, then you're probably 30%. Does Rain Dan know what that means? She's 17.5% German. Maybe that's just. Yeah, you have to know it all. There's like a thing where you can point three. Add your two together and divide by two. It goes yeah, down yeah. to like the point three of whatever you are. It's very right. specific. You're I'm sure. white. I'm white. Yeah. That pretty much crap. doesn't get any whiter than me. Um, I, yeah. I bet you we're, we all have You're some You're just like African different American. shades of white. Yeah. That's, no, no. That's I, all I'm pretty certain we all probably have some level of African I don't know what I said, Eric. I think I, think I was talking like about maybe to. being Star Like Lord. how? I don't yeah, know. Because, because well, there's well, Mongolian. And if you go back far enough, pretty much everybody was going to be African American. So, or African, or black. Yeah, like you're going to be black, right? Yeah. So at some point, Jesus was black. Everything, everybody's got like a color to you. Gotta them. watch. We what figured you're out how Did to like change? get rid of our color. Because so we, we moved north. Because we moved north. <laughs> you moved north and got rid of our color. Yeah. So like we all had to have started out with a similar color, which would be black. You're going deep. Oh, which is a, ironic I'm that I'm everybody like three gets margaritas. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's why does everybody get like so crazy about black people when you're like, dude? Everybody probably I don't even know what that I'm drinking Diana's right got a good idea. I'm the most anti-racist well, guy Do one of those know. tests, figure out, and then do a segment of drinks from your heritage. There you go. Yeah. <gasps> so we all have to do 23 and me tests. How much is it? I'm doing like 99. $99. How much yeah, is it? It's like a box. I, I know where I'm. I'm fucking half Taiwanese and half French, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I want to know what I am. How much parents lie to you? You have to fill up a two yeah. well, of spit. <laughs> how much is it? If you saw my kids that are fucking and blonde. blonde and blue how eyes. Much yeah, and Egyptian. how much semen do I need? Your wife is Egyptian. True. None. So either that or it was a good looking spit. postman. <laughs> In the tube. But if you I wanted to, postman? how much could you give them? You can. <laughs> how much you time can do, do I have? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can do sperm counts. That's a thing. For people who want to have residents. kids. But that's not. Oh, yes. I, I got a joke for you. We weren't born yesterday. The guy goes in for fertility. Yeah, mine's goes zero. To the doctor and so he gives his. I know his that now. I killed it all. But it wasn't before. The or else the doctor comes in, he's is like, there well, something you're telling news, me? It was enough to get the job done. He's like, uh, okay, what's the, uh, <laughs> what's the good news? He says, well, your sperm count is one. He says, that's the good news. What's the bad news? It's like, it's this big and it wants out. (laughs) (laughs) 
I think I've heard that before. But it's so funny. I might tell it to you. But... My health yeah. teacher, we started talking about sex today, right? Oh, and okay. he goes... I am a French Venise. And he goes, the, as teenagers, you guys can get pregnant really easily. A sperm can so much as wave to an egg and boom, you're pregnant. That's right. That's why you don't even look at a boy. Right. Right. No. If a boy looks at you, you kick him right in the fucking ball. Okay, guys, guys, she guys, guys. Can tell guys. You how All right. Kill so the my health teacher was like, okay, girls. So, what's your biggest fear about having sex? And none of us answered. And then Tyler goes, come on, you guys. Just don't want to get pregnant. And then my teacher goes, I know what will get you guys to not be pregnant. There's one thing you need. And he asked, does anyone have a quarter? And so Dan goes, I have a quarter. Goes, I have yeah, a quarter. Sure. Oh, and then he goes, and he takes a cord, and he goes, this is all you need to not get pregnant. Girls, all you need to not get pregnant. He goes, you all you have to do, stop <laughs> talking. All you have to do is put it in between your legs and hold it there for the rest of your life. Yes, sounds good to me. There's a word for it. And then Dan goes, true. I don't want the quarterback. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. It, it's true, you wouldn't get pregnant if you did that. If they get close to you, you punch them in the face. Well, I don't know, tell tell when they're like, when they're like, about the Civil War, you're like, oh, what's that? Girl punch them in the face. Guy and they were hundreds of feet apart that? from each other. Yeah, you don't want any. Turns out, yeah. When you're in college, how did that actually come Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe you're like in your twenties, and then you punch them in the face. Well, so I'm gonna tell my daughter. The older they get, the smaller the. I've already started. You've already started. You gotta go from a quarter to a nickel to a dime to a penny. You like, you don't like boys. Punch them in the face. Any boy you see, punch in the face. Yes. Dan is funny because yeah. he's the only pervert that doesn't let that that won't let his daughter have any like men near her. Like he's gonna kill <laughs> every single person. She ever has a boyfriend. Well, we're gonna clean guns when she's. I'm yeah, scared well, because I'm experienced. <laughs> <laughs> I did all, I did all this research, we right? I, I did all this business. research we were that for when guy. I had a daughter to guy. know that yeah, you probably shouldn't stay away talk from to people like, like daddy. So yeah. when when he walks in the house and he goes. Dude, you were just like me when I was 14. You're out. <laughs> no. You're like, oh, you remind me of myself when I was a kid. They say that. <laughs> and then when Tyler's girlfriend we'll comes, we're going to sit there with chalices and be like, have you bled yet? <laughs> <laughs> have you had your what, moon? Have moon you blood? Moon blood? blood? Have you had your moon blood? <laughs> that, would so be, that would be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. should totally do that. Oh, of course. <laughs> you should get on a Snapchat and just be like, have you had your moon blood yet? <laughs> so, and maybe you can use a moon emoji. Oh, we're going to have like the big wolf. Oh, like, <laughs> around like the, the, the cloak. So, yeah. I feel bad for them. Have you bled yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's what a Game of Thrones thing. Can you get pregnant? Here's a quarter. <laughs> yeah. You can date my daughter. Yeah. If you are victorious at Tropic Home. Yes. <laughs> or you're a unit. And then Ian comes out and I'm like, like yeah. let the games begin! <laughs> I need my champion. <laughs> yeah. Come forth, Ian of Maine. <laughs> Moon blood. Now I'm hey. thirsty. Now I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah. Have a vampiro. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, I'm going to eat my food. Right. So, Tina, eat your food. Tina. Tina. Tina, eat your food. My math teacher once called me Brittany. I get called Brittany. Mar Did you say yeah. I'm not a stripper? stripper name? Yeah. <laughs> See, you're like, hello, well, I'm not a stripper. Not to nitpick, but you know they're all stripper names. Yeah. yeah. Brianna's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coming up next, <laughs> Brianna. Come on, I, I've, I've heard that before. Her, yeah. real, her real name is Sally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not, not her, really. Her real name. Actually, Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a stripper name too. Yes, that was that was the, that was the joke. Uh, ironic part. Yeah. I'm gonna go then. Pick a, yes. pick, a, pick a car model. It's a stripper name. Yeah. Dakota, Mercedes, Lexus. Ford. Lexus. Jordan. Mm, that's Jordan. Out of, like, oh my god. That's not like kittens and Seabrook, and you don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's definitely. Or the clubs in uh, <laughs> Louisiana. Yeah, it was me. Don't worry. Okay. Oh no, you haven't been to kittens. <laughs> that's, oh. Is it worse than Louisiana? You don't even understand <laughs> the shit when you, we just, saw. When you walk around. by those clubs, you're like, oh, if thought, you put your good people on the street, what's inside? No, no, no. <laughs> no. I thought you meant the gay bars we, we were in. We were no, walking that down. Cool. That was cool. When we were in Paris, we were walking down like through the neighborhood, like, and these two ladies were out every night. And they were definitely ladies of the night. <laughs> and they were... They were big. <laughs> they were... They were... 
cheaters in Rhode Island, have you? <laughs> oh, no, I have. Okay. No, I have. And I mean, so th these two women, I mean, and they were all dialed up. She had her lips were done. They were big. Like, everything was big. <laughs> and they were just, like, hanging out. I mean, and they weren't, like, approaching it, but they, they were, like, there. And they were there every night. And you're just like, we were like, they must like him big over here. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I was in when I was in Germany, I didn't know this because I'm thing. stupid. Yeah, yeah it could maybe. be. But yeah, I went off the no, no. <laughs> I was in Hamburg <laughs> in the re apparently the hotel was like right on the border of the red light district and uh, Saint Paul Street in in Hamburg. I, I, I've been to the red light district in Amsterdam. No, no, <laughs> Hamburg. Saint Paul, Saint so Paul I, Street's where the where I had to move. I had to like to get in the door was kind of challenging because there's always a group of people like. Teenage kids or whatever hanging out. Apparently they were strippers. I didn't know. So it was it was February. So they had clothes on more Just than I think, I think you you're worldly. So we right. So so when I was when I I was talking to one of my coworkers who was staying in the hotel. He's like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't. I should. If I would have known where we were, it was like five year old less. So I thought it was a good deal, but we should have went down the street. He's like, I'm so sick of all the strippers out in front of our place. I'm like, strippers or uh, mm -hmm. prostitutes. Like, well, what are you talking about? He's like, you, all the process. So when I'm going home the next day, all these girls are in the front in front of the door. And that's when it clicked. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I get it now. They're all prostitutes. I didn't know. Like, nothing really said prostitute. They're just a bunch of... But they don't like, hold signs. Right, you know, that's the problem. They need to hold signs. So Diana went to Hito. So what? you're definitely of the freer type. <laughs> yeah. Freer type, freer type. Which had an trust awesome me, we time with dark, diamond, had sapphire, had and emeralds. Yes. Oh yeah, pick a, pick a gemstone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, gemstone cards. Topaz, what else? Yeah, there's all sorts of rules. Well, what I else? didn't know strippers had a convention though. Do you have any, yeah, yeah, they have convention. If you yeah. have any pictures. <laughs> yeah, send yeah, them to like Dan. A, we're not opposed. You can put them on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, we're not opposed. You can send them to my Facebook. It's fine. Yeah. He's Dan Bro. I don't even know if that's true. No, that's my Insta. Oh. <laughs> you're just your actual name on Facebook. Everybody on Facebook is their actual Yeah, my actual name. Face page. You could be like Ian and have like gray or blue as yeah. your profile picture. Best bar we've been to? Tiki Teletola was pretty good. No, Tol -tiki. No. No, 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 no. No, Tiki Latitude. 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 That's it. No, Tiki Teletola. That's where he... The that's where the flower... That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's where he flower. ate the flower. No, Latitude. That's what... Latitude. Latitude was good. Latitude was really uh, good. Uh, uh, the champagne... What was the name of it? What the fuck is that oh. champagne drink that Julius drinks? Yeah, well, oh, French 75. French 75. 75 was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. But was, I think uh, I liked Latitude. That was better. different. That was a different style. Yeah, yeah. A, that, was, I mean, that was a French bar versus a tiki bar. Yeah. See, I think we. I wish we went upstairs in New York City. Uh, yeah. To um, the, dead the dead rabbit. We did go. We did. No, we, we didn't. didn't go upstairs. They didn't weren't open. Oh, they were closed, right? What yeah. Was, what was up there? What was the other one we went to? The really expensive one. The Death and Company. Death and Company. That wasn't that great. Like the drink was good. But yeah, you, yeah, it was every overrated. drink we had was good. It was overrated. I'll tell you, we went to the, the bar in that Paris we thought of Ian? at the at the hotel, and the bartender was awesome. Yeah, like their drinks were great. They're really fucking expensive. Yeah, more than uh, when we were in Chinatown. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, it's a euro. It's a it was euro like twenty five euro. Yeah, which so is more like than a daughter dollar. So they would take the ice and they would shape it into a diamond. So they would take the chunk out. Oh, and I'd watch them so as they're making they're a drink. 25 euros. Yeah. yeah. They and they're shaping it and then they stamp it. Really? On top. Oh, that's cool. You know, with like their yeah. logo and, and put it in. Like he made us um, a cognac sour, but with a, it, had, it was a cider liqueur and oh. it was awesome. That's cool. And then when he just gave it to him, God. <laughs> gave it to you for free? Yeah. Well, we were there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you've already that was after like a drink. bottle of champagne and like yeah. three cocktails. You've already bought this eating. drink like ten times yeah. over. Here you go. Not a, but but when we get in the like this is a hotel where they had a they had um, a Bentley SUV out front that was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but that one when we were at what was it the the apothic apothic. I think it was uh, Apothec or whatever the hell it was. Oh, right? that no, actually that bar I thought was really good. And we, yeah, that bar was good. Actually. It was sure good until really good. until we got the bill. Yeah. And it was yeah. like, that, oh, yeah, that bar four was cocktails, good. like $130? Okay, can we just get four more? <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll figure it out. Okay. That was good. Every time we paid, I was like, oh my I god. Like, I a minor heart attack <laughs> each time. The alcohol wasn't the problem, it was the bill. And it's like, fine with the alcohol. And then you're like, oh, I don't know about that. I'm like, I'll get this round. Another hundred dollars. I don't know. The alcohol was, was the problem. 
And I went back and crashed on the bed. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she was pretty, she was done. I've never seen Jen, like, pass out. It doesn't happen very often. No, no. we did that night. And we went out and we're like, and she seemed like, like everyone was kind of like, her and Julie were both like, kind of on edge. Like, on edge of like, passing out. <laughs> But, but like every, no, like everybody see, but she was she was fine doing yeah. it. Yeah. And everybody was like, okay, so we went back to the room. We we're gonna have another cocktail and kind of like hang out. And both, and I just see Jen. She's just on the bench. She's just like, and she's just like, boom, boom. And I'm like, whoa, I've never seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> so that can happen. We were wondering if there was an end. It is. It never gets old or bad. Well, that's good. Right. What? It never gets old or bad. Wait, no. Ben Wajin uses the first perfect margarita video. Dude, that was horrible. Somebody just commented wow, nice. on it today. You've been watching for a long time. That's 10 years. And we just made the same drink <laughs> <laughs> 10 years ago. Oh, it's probably different, but it's close to the But that's the thing. I mean, everything is like a riff on a margarita. You throw some cucumbers in there. You throw bitters in there. You throw... Oh, I didn't throw anything in there. It was probably bad. I, I don't... No, I, mean, I think you had a pretty good recipe, didn't you? You had uh, Greg's recipe, or you had actually this. It was probably this. Was probably this recipe. recipe. I just redo it every time, but it's also in like this tiny little screen. Like it's all blurry because it was made for like an iPod Touch, like ten years. Three twenty by four hundred resolution. Yeah. So now when you're on YouTube, they can't they can't magically fix it. So yeah. when you on He's any average in. screen, it's freaking. You're just fucking getting down. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you do wear t-shirts. Take it off. Yeah. I know. I mean, that spe speaking of stripping. That happens when you, people you hang me. out with me, but you know, <laughs> I'm used to it. My pants yeah. Yeah, you really better put those back on. That shit's going to be falling. <laughs> Normally, I, I, I usually just strip and get it over with. That's weird looking, though. Yeah. It's all right. I look country now. <laughs> you look country. You look like Bizarro. You have, a, you have a little country vibe. Bizarro is like an opposite Superman. Huh. You gotta okay. drink your margarita. Your <laughs> <laughs> he, he has to drive past the police station. Best yeah. strip club treasures in Vegas? No, we went to. Um, Spearmint Rhino, Blue Sapphire, or was it Sapphire? We went to Spearmint Rhino. Yeah, Spearmint that's Rhino. the one we got picked up in a bus. That's that was awesome. Sapphire was the other one that we all went. Sapphire to. was the first one, right? Yeah. That we went to. Because yeah. you didn't go to Spearmint Rhino. No. Sapphire? Holy shit. There was a lot of fucking people in that club. It was 3 o'clock in the morning and we could not find a seat in the whole club. What? Wow. Yeah. That's but a problem. Was so. And yeah. it, I mean, it was yeah, fucking knows. jammed. And it was girls and just like people. I wonder how hard it is to get a job as a stripper at a place like that. Like besides the fact that you have to be a 10 or 11 or 12 point, like perfect. Like still, <laughs> you have the entire... <laughs> there I, I, I find it great that you have to explain that. <laughs> But you have to, 11 point. Point. <laughs> point. One. You have to be better than a 10. And you, there's got to be at least... Sloth. That's why. I See, Sperma Rhino. I went to Sperma Rhino. Yeah. Well, trust me. When hey, I was, guys. <laughs> Sperma Rhino, they picked me up on a bus. It was awesome. Super cool. <laughs> video in the back. Plus, I was with two women, so that always helps. It's, Can't go wrong. No. That was an interesting night. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't remember it, but... He found his pants the next day. The first time we went to Vegas, we went to Spirma Rhino. We got back at like five. So you And then sleep? slept. No, well, because we had to check out of the hotel at like 11. The next day? Yeah. And so we checked out, and our flight wasn't until like five in the afternoon. And we just, we walked around the hotel till we went down to like the basement level and found like a couch. <laughs> And slept. And slept. Like me and Julie, <laughs> me and Julie, they're both just like sleeping. I, I mean, not even like a couch. It was like two benches, and we're just like, because <laughs> it was like fucking 110 degrees out. Yeah. Like we walked outside, and I was like, Ugh. it's a dry heat though. <laughs> and then we walked and we were eating. We well, went to like a, enough, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we went to a burger place and I'm like, yeah. And I got one with like an egg on it, and I'm like, uh. like three bites in, I, I just like, I look at Julie, and I'm like. I can't. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I just have to sit here for a minute. <laughs> Baby Ruth. Yeah. Oh my god, it was bad. Uh, I, I haven't watched I haven't watched Goonies. Such like an exciting time months. for Dan sleeping on the couch. Ugh. Yeah, that's the Dan does that a lot. He just passes out. Goonies never say die. Hey, he we just watched that like a couple months we ago. We did. 
And now, what's his name? Is Thanos. I can't Thanos. remember. I can't remember his Goonies character name. It was, uh, Who? Oh, Josh he Brolin. was... Really? Josh Brolin was the older brother in Goonies. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Who is he? Thanos. Thanos. In yeah. the Avengers Infinity War? Uh, Thanos. Oh, I wouldn't know. You, just, you went from Goonies to, like, something I haven't seen. Because it's the same actor. Yeah. How about this? W. George, he played W. The last season of Stranger Things had... Oh, what the hell? The guy from uh, The Hobbit. Sam. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Sam oh, was. Uh, yeah, Sam, Sean Austin. Yeah, yeah Sean, Sean Austin. Austin. He was in Goonies. Mm. He was. And he was in Stranger Things. Both which are supposed to take place in the 80s. He was yes. Mouth? No. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, no, that no. was, um, was the main Corey kid. Feldman. Right? Yeah. Mouth was Corey Feldman. He was the, the main kid. Yeah. The drive yeah, the, 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 I guess the main character. Yeah, there with was the asthma. One. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. He was him, okay. Damn it, why can't I think of names right now? Sean Astin. No, know, but the, the, character the character name. name. Uh... Oh, Mikey. Mikey. It's yeah. Mikey. Yeah. Wow. What's your favorite cocktail in the world? What? Whiskey Sour? Because that's a big one. I heard Rudy yeah, was a good movie. movie. I don't think I've ever that's seen Rudy. That's probably Whiskey Sour. That's good. Yeah. That's what I said, right? Yeah, the heavy set kid is now a lawyer. Man down or Whiskey Sour, bro? Chunk. Chunk. What's gotta the, do the truffle drink shuffle? drink that we make all the time? Which one? The one Chester. with uh, Dorchester. 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 Oh, the Dorchester. Dorchester's okay. really good. Yeah. I've turned it out sour. <coughs> it's it's our Chicago South Side. There's, we drink there's a lot of good drinks. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Reflecting yeah. upon you it, we do a lot we of drinking. I think we drink a lot. I, you didn't drink your margarita. I've been drinking all Are you all kidding of them. me? You gotta drink I one. Drink what are we drinking tomorrow? <laughs> We're gonna drink Brand, that's tequila. Right. Thank you. You're gonna drink Thank this you, tomorrow. Dead Rabbit, oh. New York. It's good. We've been to the Dead Rabbit. Drink. Since since this is what we brought back for you, Dan. We didn't bring yeah, it back to yours. Ian this time. We brought him a statue instead because he doesn't drink alcohol. Nice. So you're gonna have to drink that tomorrow. Okay. No, I don't by care yourself. That. No, he doesn't. That's fine. I can do it. <laughs> it, it. This is a big bottle. This is not a seven. It's a liter. It's a liter. This is a liter. I can drink that. This is a, a Caribbean liter of cola. This is a Caribbean rum made. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. They gave us and samples like of it. This is Barbados. I don't know why they say it's Barbados. They probably distill it in Barbados. Oh. Or, uh, where's I'll that? drink Dominican? that. Dominican. It's pretty good. They I said I was bringing you back rum, so I did. Nice. And then, so that you keep, and then we'll drink right. this tomorrow. Are you going to bring it over my house for me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to really? have... I don't yeah. want you to bring it home now. But, well, you could. Exactly, you yeah. You don't want me but to if you bring it home, home now, you're going to have a problem, because drinking. You just shake <laughs> up the particulates on the thing. What? In this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The papaya. So we could drink this. This is bear hug infusion papaya. Oh, we're definitely gonna drink that. It's got papaya in it. So we have all we have to do is we have to finish it, and then eat the papaya. Oh. No, okay. That. Okay. She didn't like that idea, but we're gonna do that. Yeah, you like that we're idea. Oh, we have this food. You yeah. know what we need to find is yeah, Szechuan pepper. We need to find Szechuan pepper liqueur. Mm -hmm. Liqueur. Yeah. Szechuan pepper liqueur. Uh, that's a thing. Mm. <laughs> Can we make it? It's yeah, in the drink. Just make it. It's in like the drink of the year. Oh really? Yeah. Szechuan pepper. It's a mezcal drink too. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. We need okay, to find that. <laughs> Monster Squad. Can we know, make it? That must be something they, they do. Uh, if we have that. What's Szechuan pepper? We should be able to. But Szechuan, Szechuan made pepper out of... and uh, it's like a sugar. Szechuan. Pepper. No, but Szechuan is a spicy like a soy spicy sauce. Chinese food. Yeah. Like a spicy. Yeah. So, so what is the pepper that makes the spice? Two ounces of mezcal. Yeah. One it. ounce of pumpkin pumpkin mousse. Pumpkin mousse. It's pumple grapefruit. It's grapefruit. So you, got, so you know that. Yeah, it's it's just French. And then it's a half you ounce. You should know of... that. It's French. I'm more Taiwanese than French. <laughs> and then <it's> <laughs> <laughs> more Taiwanese. That's when he throws it out there. I'm a, I am all. I know my genealogy is French. And Listen, Asian. you already have all this stuff. And then a half not ounce Asian of it's it's not French French liqueur. French. No. And then lemon juice and grapefruit bitters. Have grapefruit so bitters. Do, you do you have, have the pop 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 It's yeah. just grapefruit. Fresca. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Or anything like that. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be. Pellegrino. Pellegrino, yeah, Pellegrino, Pellegrino actually makes a grapefruit soda called Pumple Moose. Oh, Gaffar? Pum no, it's mousse? not. Um... Rose. What's that? Rose? Oh, then that must be a liqueur, liqueur if it's Gaffar. Yeah, it's a pink grapefruit liqueur. So it would just be sugar and pink grapefruit. You can just do that with sugar and pink grapefruit. No? Or just pink grapefruit. I heard that wrong, but. Yeah. I'm not naked. You can come down. So that's the drink of the year. Oh, I yeah. am. You probably don't want to come down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. 
I swear they opened the door. And then they went away. Yeah, they went away. And they're like, Dan's mm -hmm. like, they thought better. I'm plastered. <laughs> Dan's not plastered. Did you not watch Tiki Mom? Wait a minute. Is Frasier? I, I can't. My contacts like are all screwed up. I was like, no, plastered? No, it says Dan is Frasier. Is Frasier? Dan's Frasier? But you need to give me reference to why that's the case. You don't look anything like Frasier. No, Frasier was oh, like... Maybe Joe Frasier? No. He no. It gotta be Frasier the, yeah. from I'm Seattle. I'm knocking shit out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna touch you again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When I think of people it's who like pick that, a fight... It's like that commercial with the elephant. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're playing football now. Frasier. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Asian. Oh, so it's... Oh, Frasier. Oh, oh. Is that a thing? Oh, yes. it is now. Oh, come on. Tia, Tia's free. Right back. We're gonna have another drink. Dan yeah, knows you're smoke, She's aren't you? <laughs> She's uh, Tia? Yeah. So, are you saying you're going to your car because you need a cigarette? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> now that you know the truth, yes. I always know the truth with Dan. When he decides to just get up and walk away, there's a reason. How come, how come Superman has You gotta think of a drink for all three of us. I can think of a drink. Don't let Superman leave. Superman's leaving. Superman's leaving. Superman we can't stop tomorrow. Superman, he's too big. That's right. You can try. Something's gonna hurt. Either. Yeah, he's gonna overpower one, us. One of us is gonna get hurt. <laughs> it may be you, actually, it's, but... It's probably gonna be me. <laughs> it's, you can tell it's humid. Look at your fridge. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is humid. Yeah. That's weird. That's why I gotta go sit in the AC car, at least for the ride home. <laughs> you don't have AC in your house? Do you have AC in your house? Bedroom? I didn't put it in yet. Oh, uh, you have, have one that you put in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty early for that. Yeah. It'll, you put it in today, tomorrow will be like that. Hey, it's breaking tonight. Yeah, so. if I put it in today, I'll take it up tomorrow because it's going to be too cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll come. It'll happen. All right, talk to you tomorrow. Later. Hasta la pasta. Hasta la pasta. Hasta la luego. Luego. Color of your undies and the last thing you ate. Stripper name. Pink. Mexican. Does that count? Pink Mexican. What we, what? Mexican. Pink Moe's. We went to Moe's. But that's Mexican food, right? Ah, uh, this is Tex-Mex. Pink Tex-Mex. Lord, pink. Yep, I got pink undies on. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I'm going to have pink undies on. Black grilled cheese and bacon. <laughs> I don't know if you'd go with black grilled cheese and bacon. That wouldn't mean not be a good stripper name. I'd probably go with, like, Stan. <laughs> Stan. That's a good stripper name. Stan. Yeah. It, it's kind of hard. <laughs> if you're a male stripper. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe pink like hard. I knew a guy named Stan once. I've only known one person named Stan. Ever. What are you doing? How come I'm the only one here? This is awkward. Just <laughs> talk. I always talk. That's what I do. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hey, you know what? You gotta say happy birthday to Dan. It was his yeah. birthday like two days ago. That's your right. I don't know a guy named Bob. Blue orange chicken. Blue orange chicken. Not a good stripper name. Although pink, <laughs> although pink Mexican isn't the best of names. Although, what did I have? I had a, what was that? Oh, earmuffs? That was the meal at Moe's? Yeah. So technically my, my stripper pink name would earmuff. pink earmuffs. <laughs> pink earmuff. That would be my name. I want to leave earmuff because it sounds like vagina. Muff, vagina, pink earmuff. Black rigatoni. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a, black rigatoni sounds like a black stripper with a really long penis. I, the stream won't be alive that much longer, DJ. Everybody left me. All right, everybody. We're going to make one more drink and we're out. So that's it for the live stream. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. I don't want to bore anybody too much. It's probably late anyway. No, it's not too bad. 9.50, we've done a lot worse. And since everybody's bailing on me, uh, hold on. talking about yourself. And I'm... I'm I'm hanging out here talking about myself with my 30 fans. <laughs> um, next month, I, if you guys have some suggestion for what I could do next month, let me know. 
Um, I do I do have one tequila cocktail. I've got a sponsorship with these folks coming up. Stro 160, so stay tuned for that. That should be fun. Uh, it'll probably be a double cocktail video that I'll put out probably sometime in this month, depending on when they want to go out. <laughs> That's a lot of freaking emojis. <sighs> Happy birthday has ever had. I haven't seen a full metal jacket in a while. <laughs> yes, if somebody's just tuned in and they're like, what the hell's going on? It's going to be weird, but that's okay because I've got like 2,700 videos that you can go and look at. So, <clears throat> All right, folks. Thank you. We'll see you in April, May, June. Uh, again, send in your suggestions for June. John Spike sends me a bunch of videos, so I'll have some stuff to go with if nobody comes up with anything. That's it. But she had a drink. See you running away. What? You don't like me running away?